We're live. <clears throat> All right. All right, all right, all right. Happy New Year. Crew is here. Gus and Coleman and Colin A and Justin. Uh, how was your holiday, Dave? It was fantastic. Was it good? Yeah. Yeah? What'd you yeah. do? Uh, I went to the in-laws. Oh, nice. In-law. Oh, was it, is, yeah. is there somebody with them? Uh, in-law. Okay. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> in-law. In-law. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Yep. I got nothing else to say. Did you meet <laughs> anybody new? Uh, I met a lot of new people. I'm a friendly <laughs> guy. Yeah, I okay. just, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Okay. Justin Trudell is here. You heard everything you need to hear from him the other night. He decided to go on the year-end review, or New Year's show, and give all his opinions. So everything he says today will be... <laughs> I don't give already, all my opinions on it. Like a I'm, fucking loser on New Year's yeah, Eve. I that too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Unbelievable. But Justin is here as well. We're grateful for that. Hello. Uh, I, I mean, I'm just going to look at this like the 9-11 Commission or the Warren Commission. Honestly, I think the three of us are just going to ask questions. Uh, I'm not even kidding. So, like, uh, obviously, who's better? Uh, who better? Because two of the sh- great show fuck ups in history, obviously, Justin, th- 29,000, Colin A. Plymouth. So, these guys are, are, just so people are knowing, if you're watching, if you're new to the show, and some are, Happy New Year. Um, these guys come from experience. Nobody has been, with the exception of Steve, I suppose, has been in the weeds more in situations like this and probably have a better understanding on what these guys are going through, I would think, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yes, there's probably yes. some sympathy, I suspect. Definitely. There's none. To be clear, there's none for me. Just, just okay. there's, there's none. Like I texted Jeff D. Lowe walking the stairs this morning. I was like, I actually want to fire these guys today. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I texted him. I was like, I want to, I want to fire these assholes. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to. But we shall see as the show goes on. Right. Who's, I, you know, if I smell lies in the air, it's going to get ugly. Oh, yeah. I think you're going right. to smell some lies. Okay. Oh really? Right. Oh, you got to get pre-show stuff. Well, no, I just, I mean, oh, yeah, just yeah, lies yeah. about everything. So. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. <laughs> well, can we set not parameters, but. Justin was not supposed to be here today. Steve Robinson was supposed Just to, to make be sure. Here. So, right. what was the thought process? Well, the there? two the producers, like right. the two producers in the history of the show, yep, um, who have been, you know, in in those situations. Steve as well, obviously, with the clipped audio and then the Red Sox right. thing right. and just the whole the whole thing. Hmm? Pajamas, pajamas, the whole thing. But Justin's been there as well, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I will say this about Justin, and I said it at the time, Justin's was. Just because he's stupid. Like, it wasn't from a lack of effort. If any, Justin's never been a lack of effort. And the one time he couldn't walk more than a mile. Okay. Mm-hmm. Steve, other than that. But that's just, a, you know, that's a, that's a joke. But it came from a place of, you know, you're thinking of Plymouth. I think you were just like, fuck it. I'm out of the team. Who cares? I don't, so it's, you're closer no, to. No, I was, I was relying on other okay, people okay. too much. But okay. go on. Yeah. We, we don't do, we Let's don't not litigate that. everything. All right. We're sure, here right. for our expertise. Like, yeah. You have a, yeah. cor- you have a courtroom to get to. I don't want to get in the way. I don't get in the way. I know you'll delete a tweet at some point today. That's your trademark now. Well, hey, <laughs> so, I'm not a journalist. You had no problem with it. You had no problem with it. With you deleting the tweet? Yeah. You well, said, ah. we talked about it. You said, why'd you delete it? I said, because I wanted oh, to. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, not what, that's not what you said, but okay. Because <laughs> I, I wanted to. Oh, he asked for it. He yeah, asked me yeah, 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 yeah. I said that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't, I, yeah. Who, well, maybe we'll get to that at some point. I, I don't understand what the fuck is going on. Who, who, <laughs> we'll get there. Just relax. Would you fucking relax. You to brought it up. I didn't do shit. Anyway, uh, so I will let Justin Trudell ask the first question. When was the best of finished? So it wasn't completely finished until that week of when we were putting it out. What? So it well, was obviously it was finished that week, but was it finished date? Tuesday, well, Friday. So Well clearly it wasn't finished when you guys left for the break. No. No. Okay. I thought it was supposed to be. What I had planned on doing was taking Gus's portion mm-hmm. and then finishing up my end of it because I still had to put together the rest of mine and then combine the two over that stretch and then be able to put it out. So it really wasn't completely finished until I was exporting and sending it out and putting it up. Okay. I don't, I don't, does that do anything for you guys? I don't understand. Dave, do you understand that? Um, I understand it significantly delayed yes. first and yeah. foremost. Uh, what was the original in your mind? What was the drop date supposed to be? So I think I said late in the week. So like middle of the at, week. At some point. Middle of the week. Okay. Middle, okay. okay. Um, so I should have known that earlier would have been the way better decision to all this because that would have forced it to have been completely done ahead of time. Um, and it would have given people, was your plan to, to go on your trip, come back and then finish it? No, my plan was to finish it while I was there, like okay. wrap it up as like gotcha. through the week and work on it, finish it up throughout okay. the week. Are you buying that Justin? I'm not. You're not buying that. 
take. Dave, what? are you buying that? Not really. I, I don't see no. anyone. Oh, okay. Think I just don't understand Uh-oh. why someone would want to be like, I'm going on vacation to Florida. And well, they may not to... want to, but they may just do that for a couple hours a night at the hotel or we're something. We're talking about yeah, accumulating done. clips that have already existed. Like, we're talking about content that was already created. Well, let's be very clear about this. This is a titanic... Let me... Because I, I, I purposely stayed out of the out of the way other than retweeting stuff. Just as... Uh, I'm not, I don't give my full opinion yet on this. I don't think, right? Publicly? No, no. just I'll a couple it. oh Jesuses. Yes, I'll do yeah. it now. I, on its own, on its own as a singular thing, I don't care about the best of. Like not re- uh, any podcast. I don't, all the podcasts I subscribe to, like the BO Boys had a good one today. But <laughs> the but the ones I subscribe to, I don't really get like, the end of the year. Like it doesn't mean that much to me. I understand it means something to my audience. I get that. So on its own as a thing, I don't care that much about it. But this suggests a bigger problem. That's my issue with it, is laziness, ineptitude, uh, just a failure to get something done. The fact that it was 15 hours is mind-boggling to me. Like, it should, it should have been closer to 15 minutes than 15 oh, hours. Oh, shit, by the way. Let's clarify. Oh, no, we'll get... Oh, oh we're not... You'll have your... No, you'll have your chance. Yeah. Uh, a disaster, I think, not paralleled in the history of the show of which there have been many, many, many disasters. There are, you know, there are more Coca-Colas in the studio than we're in Plymouth, I think, right now, in, in the fridge. So, I, I, you know, I don't, I, don't, there, I mean, $29,000 to have a cart, have a, have a, a go 1,000 miles round trip is spectacularly dumb. But this is different than that. This is like, and I heard for weeks, I'll, 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 I'll give you a little peek behind the curtain, too. Uh, we were Papa Gino's. You, you were Papa Gino's, right? Oh, you I was not. You were not Papa Gino's, okay. We're at the Papaginos thing. We're at a table. I was at one table. Colm was at the other. Gus was at my table. And somebody said to Gus, what do you think of the best of? How's it going? And this was the Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever before Christmas break, I think. I want to say Papaginos Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, and Gus said, I have 77 different things I, ha- I have to figure out what it's going to be. And right there, I, ca- I, I said, I'm going to watch this fire go. Yep. I said, this is a disaster. This is not going to get done. There's no chance it's going to happen. I'm going to sit back and watch these. And you may say, Kirk, that's bad leadership. Like you should step in. But I said, these guys have to learn how to swim on their own. Uh, And it it was, I thought it was going to be a disaster. I undersold it. Like it was like, I thought it was going to be like a little kid's plane breaking. Like a little, this was 9-11. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this was just the worst. Like the, in, in, when the clips I heard, I couldn't listen to it. I can't listen to my own voice. But the parts I heard, again, as Dave said, we'll get there later. were so bad. We're so cringe-inducing. And I'm like, these guys don't know anything. They don't have a fucking clue how to do anything. So no one, I don't really care about the YouTube, and no wonder the YouTube's always fucked up, or the sound's messy, or this, or that. Well, these guys are just two fucking idiots. You know, I, but that, that's sort of my, my that's my 30,000-foot uh, view on I, I'll have more thoughts later. But go ahead, Dave, go, J- Justin, do you have a follow-up question? You're allowed to follow-up question. Uh, my follow-up question would be when... That's an absolutely terrible first question. Because oh. <laughs> when, when did you start it? Like, so the, the thing about getting clips. Who is this question for? Uh, Gus. Why Gus. don't I get a question? I, I haven't asked a question. Get a question, gets a follow-up, then you have a question on the follow-up. He gets a follow-up? You got a follow-up. This is okay. Well, I want to I wanna, I wanna save. That was a te- you admit that was a terrible question. Which I thought then go to me. Sure, but I want to bail him out because right, he's, right, you know, he's, yeah. he also said in the, he also said on the, I watched, I ran listen to some of the New Year's Eve show he did. And he called the Prince Song Party like it's 1999. It's just 1999. Oh, oh okay. That annoyed yeah. me. Yeah, that put me in a bad mood. I was in a decent mood and I was in a bad mood. Oh, I'm sorry. That's fine. Go ahead. What's your, well, I'm sorry, what's your question, Justin? When did you when st- I start? I started listening to the old episodes going back in the first week of December. Okay. Okay, is that okay or no? I what? don't I don't think that's true. But I let's say let's say it is. Is that if he said if you, that is true, is that is that a good time? Yeah, I, 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 oh, that's okay. Okay. I, okay. He's he's referenced it on the show a good amount of times. That's the not thing. just that you thing. kept yeah. referencing this. Yeah. Like what happened? So my approach for it was knowing that Coleman wasn't hadn't listened to the beginning parts. I went back okay. and I started going through all the descriptions, read all the descriptions of like trying to remember what big moments th- that were from the show throughout the year. Right. And then from there, once I was like, all right, when I saw that in there, like for example, the Sebastian one, like I remember the Sebastian call being a very funny call. Okay. So when I saw that episode, I was like, all right, I know I'm gonna want to put Sebastian. In why the wasn't it done? What do you mean? Why wasn't it done? Like. You don't understand what I'm at. What, well, well, what don't well, you understand? Uh, what, do you, I, what, what do you think? What do you think I mean when I say why like, wasn't it? What do you think it is? I mean the best of. You got it. So there you go. So why Coleman shaking his head? You're, you're down on Gus Coleman. 
No, I. You I, guys hate each other. Now. No, I think you I will. didn't. I didn't set him up properly. Okay. So anyway, yeah. all right. So right, right. just go in like Gus. Just blame Coleman. Let's go. <laughs> like let's just do it. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what we're. What, I don't see what you're saying. Like so. so why so, wasn't? Why wasn't? Like I, all I heard you every time I said to you, "What are you doing?" Like I'm working on best of. This Papa Gino's. I've said this. This best of. This best of. I'm so doing I, this. I'm working on this. Hey, when I'm this week when I'm gone, you're not going to believe the crazy stuff I have on Twitter going on. All this stuff, and then nothing. You had nothing ready for best of. Nothing. So we had the. I had in the upload. I had all the clips set off in two different ways. I had each segment. When is it, this? Walk me through this history, date wise. So this would be the first. The uh, the day after Christmas, I started uploading everything. Twenty six. The twenty six. Okay. All my clips were getting uploaded. Up to uh, this Dropbox I created for Coleman and I to see everything. And I set it up by month by month because we had talked about previously going in. We're going to break this out month by month leading up to the producer search just because it was like an easy way to frank schedule it for us. Yeah. So I did that. And then my my assumption was that Coleman was going to put all the other parts of it together. I was just collecting. There you go, Dave. And right. I was going to have Coleman. Mm -hmm. put, so you're, what's, your, what's, your, what's your theory? Well, first of all, Coleman is the A producer of the program, right? right. So he's yeah. kind of the quality control producer. Yes. The, fault, my, the my, fault is mostly with Coleman. I would assume so. Yeah. So, so I would think that... 80%, 90%. Yeah. So I would think that Gus would have been the guy pretty much to but put But I will say this. Yep. I'm sorry. Conversely, though, Gus from the beginning said, this is my baby. I'm taking... Right? Am I right, Gus? Yeah. I'm doing this. This is mine. This is my project. This is mine. I'm doing it. But he's the B producer. I know, yes, but I'm just saying, to be clear, like he said, I am running this. And the A thing. producer has to approve the B producer's work. Correct. He can run that all day long. Correct. But right? but he should, yes, but he should have something to present to the A producer. Yeah, I can't like remember the A producer. The, the A producer can't make something out of nothing, I guess is my point. I'm, I don't know if that was the case. I'm just saying. No, he, like Gus put all the clips together, right? And they were shitty, so don't get me wrong. Terrible. But, but Coleman doesn't really know that because he didn't listen before the producer's show. Yeah, what happened? Where is the communication breakdown? What the fuck right. happened? Like, why was this... Such a disaster. We have no, I have no, oh, I, I, I know. brought this up the last time I was in, like, I don't understand their dynamic whatsoever. The two of them like working How together. How happy he is, Justin. No, 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 this is, this is, this is, I brought so it up and you, you like, you poo pooed it basically, but like he'll play a clip and it sounds like Coleman doesn't know, or if he doesn't, then you get mad at the clip he plays and Coleman doesn't right. get any blame. Why doesn't Coleman know what's happening? Like I what he's about to do. I agree with you. It is strange when you come in here, like Coleman sits in this room and they both like get their own sound. And then like 10 minutes before the show, they're like, so what do you have? Why? Oh, is that true? You guys sit in different rooms? No. No, I well, I yes, just sit in there. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I sit in there just to. There's a lot going on when he's in here and yeah. he's running around and stuff. So right. I like to just sit there, get all my last minute stuff together, and just have my. I'm stuff. okay with that. Yeah. That's, no, you're not okay all. with that. But he should still know what Gus is bringing to the table every day, and he I should agree. know what sound, what stories. Most like, of the time, I do because he texts me throughout the day before saying like. This is this audio. Like maybe we should bring this up. Like we communicate. Okay, like we started that. a few minutes late, right? Yeah. We're about 15, 16 minutes into the show. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. I know nothing more than I knew before I walked in. Right. Am I right? Yeah. Like, what do I? Why was this such a fucking disaster? A, you guys both agree it was a disaster. Yes. Okay. Hundred percent. So then, why, Gus? You can go first. Dave, did you ask a question yet? Um, I think I just no. I can't remember my question. Okay, good. You're, yeah. You're, you're, yeah. Sorry. Go on. Go on. Go on, go on top of it. Why was it such a disaster? Gus, just tell me why it was such a disaster. Blame Coleman. Blame yourself. Blame me. Blame who? Blame somebody. Tell me something that I don't, that I didn't know 20 minutes ago. Poor planning and a, poor planning from myself and Coleman leading up to the release is why everything fell apart. Okay. Th there was not a lot of communication, I think, between myself and Coleman back and forth, like this date, specific setting up timelines, and it just kind of it hit a point where like Coleman and I thought we knew what we were like. I thought I knew what Coleman wanted. Coleman thought he knew what I wanted, but we didn't know what each other wanted. If that makes sense. I don't know. Does this make sense to you? <laughs> what each other wanted. Yeah, I don't, I don't, <laughs> fucking I don't, best of show. I don't understand. I, I still understand. Do you, Justin? Like, what do you mean by like what each other want? It was just clips. Just yeah, no, clips. No, no, and then you guys would talk about. This seems to me a, a very easy project, honestly. Like I, you guys have done it. I haven't, but it seems very easy. I, I, I mean, I don't know how to do it. You find, first of all, this thing should never be more than three hours. Ever. Never, ever. Nobody should be subjected to 15 hours of this. Um, find the best clips, put them together, put a quick intro in. You're done. In fairness, it's kind of a pain in the dick if you do it the way I think Gus was doing it, which was going back and finding individual clips on on its own. If right? he started, if he start, first of all, let's be clear about this. I got some, some tweets, not many, saying, hey, they're on vacation. First of all, I made it clear when I hired these guys. There's no vacation. I made this clear. I was going to break these guys. To me, I don't care about I, those things. I don't care about vacation. There's no vacation. One, two. They started in October. I mean, it didn't start. It's not a year long. It started in January. Three. 
Jeff Lowe produced two weeks worth of shows. We were in New York. I was in New York for a week. I was in Chicago for a week. Mm. This thing should have been done the week I was in Chicago. The week you were in Chicago. Done. Okay. Instead, they're doing videos underwater. Gus is coming in on a scooter. Like, they should have been sitting there and doing best of and had it done. This thing should have been done and out the Monday or Tuesday uh, after the break. Monday was Christmas, right? So yes. the 26th, it should have been out. Done. Easy. It should have been, it I'm should surprised. Been, it should have been good to go. At, what's up? I'm surprised you didn't care about knowing when the release date was. I'm a little surprised. I don't care that much about best of. I think you knew with me or Steve or Justin. Maybe, or but I, I, but he, it's that, going on did, your show. Did I ever? Did I ever ask you much about best of? No, I don't think did you I ever asked ask you about, about best of. It was always like, oh, Justin's doing the best. I just assumed it would be suck. done. No, it would yeah, be fine or be bad. But the date of it, because you always go to the Minifan first, the Minifan brain first, yeah. and I think you would well, have I said. Thought, but I also, thought it was gonna be three hours or four hours. I think it was gonna be fifteen. Yeah. Hours. So if it came out if you told before the end of the week, fifteen hours, I would have said that. You know, putting it out on December. What did they call thirtieth? I don't even know. Friday came out the 29th. 29th. Yeah. Then it's different. I mean, yeah. it's 15 hours. No right. one's going to listen to it. Yep. So that was, but if it's three hours, if it's three hours that comes out on Friday, it's late. But it's three hours. Like you can listen over the weekend and on Monday and whatever. Yeah. I think you can catch up. Harrison did like the best of KMS on the YouTube for like six months, didn't he? Yeah. He would do like weekly segments. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, <laughs> yeah. to me, this should have been done. You know, you spend an hour a day that Chicago week, literally one hour a day putting it together and you're done. Or you're close enough you can finish in December. Yeah. It's just time management. When did you guys record those intros? Like the, when, when did you do just that? Just the last day when we were in here. Before break. Before that next They were week. terrible. So horrible. horrible. They were fucking terrible, right? Horrible. There were things that were introduced in those intros that just didn't make the best of it. Right. Yeah. And there was So I that's why I don't think any clips were clipped before. I think what happened was you guys sat down and said, Okay, we gotta talk about January. Let's go through January. Oh, uh, this happened. This happened, this happened. Oh, yeah, no, uh, John Stewart died. Uh, it was very sad. Uh, like, I don't think the clips were done when you guys introduced them. So I had an idea. John Stewart did not die in January, for the record. Just, well, that's just, when we I, found I, out. I understand, but I want to give it just for the record. Right. I mean, I know you don't. I, oh, I, I, mean, I care, care about I, Oh, I mean, no, 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 no. much no, about no. them, but whatever. You get his data. I'd like to correct the record for one second, because I did listen to a little bit of the best of, the parts that I could. Uh -huh. I don't believe that John Stewart hated me. I believe he hated me, hated me on the program. Who said that? You did. Oh, I think he did. <laughs> no, I think he I liked me personally. Did. Why do you think that? Because I know he liked me personally, and I just like to correct that because... Well, I'll tell you what. When John Pelletier dies this year, I will say he liked me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think he does like you. Yeah. Yes. What was your question, Justin? I'm sorry. Justin dominating, calling in the question. Was the clips... Were the clips clipped when you guys did the... Well, they're going to lie to you. They're going to lie. What do you I mean? Go ahead. So when I started on my chunk of everything... I was going back through the entire producer search itself and those episodes didn't have timestamps or anything. So I was re-listening and finding the best moments throughout that. On top of that, I was also getting clips from the latter half, which we had a lot of on just like my drive or whatever. Like I had those clips saved from when we were putting them out. Um, and that on top of it as well, I was going through the Instagram of clips to be able to have clips to put out throughout the course of the week, almost like the best of... 2023 clips. No, that's me. Sorry. Well, uh, yeah. I'm, 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 I, I, does that make sense to you or no? I, I guess because because another thing that was confusing is too that there were clips that were social clips that were best of that didn't make the best of. Right. Yeah. Those weren't right. supposed to be from the actual best of. Those were just like, like the 18 part thing you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Those were just the Which highest is, performing clips from Instagram. Like as I was looking through, like what that would have infuriated well. me if I were you What's seeing that? those clips that were already out there. They weren't new edits. They were. Well, just I, I didn't realize that until I think Ziggy Robinson oh, caught that or yeah, something. I wonder yeah, if I right. told him that. Yeah. Oh, did you tell him? I wonder. Yeah. Tell yeah. I don't know. Who's to say? Yeah, well, hey, look, yeah. that's yeah. that's fine. Yeah. I'm still not. Again, I'm still not sure. Like, I don't know what happened. I don't. I think. It's, when did you? So, Gus, you came in here. Yes. And you were kind of giddy. You were like, "I have 77 clips." You've mentioned this before. 77, 77 episodes. 70. Right. Episodes. Episode what? So well, what 77 I was, clips for the best. Of. Okay, this is gonna annoy. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. You had 77. What are you segments. laughing at? No, it's it's a nervous laughter. I'm. Okay. It's, yeah. You had 77 it's, it's, segments okay. that you seemed like giddy about. You were proud that you had that many. Yes. Were they segmented? At the time we discussed it on the show, which I was here, I think like one or two days before the break. Were, did Second, you already have those? Which is, which is essentially I the day. I think it's a day after the PUBG right. thing. Yeah, go ahead. I had I had those clips. I didn't have all the clips. I had clips through then for um, what was it? That first upload was uh, May, April. Like I had up. What, what are you talking? What do you see? What do you what, do? You know what he's talking about or no? Are I we, had so. Do you know what he's talking about? So I had, you did the you you had clips from pulled, up to from, from January, January to, to April, April pulled. Yes. Before you sat down and you introduced them. Correct. I don't think so. 
You don't I, believe I, you. I, he's I just, lying to you. I, I think if you listen to those... He's a liar. I mean, I, I think I if know. you listen to those intros, he talks about things that was like, oh, this was a big... Uh, this is We're going to get into the big A. And, and the big A is not... Right, how is that so possible? If they recorded so that the, the big, last the big, so the big A, I had brought that up what on the show the as the big A was... Uh, Mutt, Mutt had some scam. Oh, yeah, 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 the horse guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what are you saying? So you're saying he brought that up. Hold on. You're saying you brought that up on the best of like audio. It was never on played. On the best of, it would be like it would be like oh. <laughs> it was never played. Like, <laughs> well, I said I said on this uh, show it, that that wasn't going to be in it though. I said that on but this then, show. But then you said but in it, the intro, it, you said I mentioned on the intro of the best of. I I I misspoke on that because I was trying to. So it wasn't somebody. But, so nobody heard it but, then. You didn't but, hear it after one second. So no, after you said that, then nobody went back and listened to it. Yeah, I. Yeah. I, okay. Well, great. That's great. That's but, fucking great. He says in the intro to it, he says, I know I said we're not going to mention the big A, but we actually are okay. in this. And then it just never shows up. So it's it's you're told one thing on the show. So to be that, clear, you guys rushed this out and did not give it an edit, right? So, right, I mean, let's, uh, let's uh, don't, like, we don't need to bullshit each other here, right? Yeah. That, that didn't happen, correct? Correct? Yeah, I. Yes, so, okay, Gus, yes? Yeah. Oh, right? Yeah. So you just rushed it out there? At the end, yeah. Okay. Did you rush it out there, Gus? Or did Coleman rush it out there? Was your work pretty much done leading up to that, in your opinion? You So your theory is, one second, Gus. Your theory is that Gus is protecting Coleman. Yes. Because Gus told you that off the air. Nope, I don't talk to Gus off the air. <laughs> is that true <laughs> or no? That is true. Has anybody else told you that who talks to Gus? Because I learned, of course, as all... You can say what you want about Kirk Manahan, but this is a pretty major podcast. You know, it, it does very well. Yeah. And like, like my... I had big-time podcast... Riggs and Dan Katz and... Jeff Lowe and all these guys reaching out to me about the disastrous. And like all those big time podcasts, like my friend Dan Katz, he gets all his news on what's going on the best of from boner salad tweets, <laughs> which is how I got my news. Yeah. Literally, like I had to text. I'm a fucking 50 year old man who has accomplished some things in my life. And I'm texting Coleman. Hey, can you tell Gus to stop fucking tweeting a boner? Stop fucking leaking shit to boner salad. <laughs> That's on you, Justin, by the way, too. Yeah, no, he's uh, like, well, Gus. What the fuck? I I was one once everything hit the fan. I panicked and just okay. It's, okay, it's I, just I, useless. You also fucking said, useless. You also said that you were there. You were sitting in. I believe you had a tweet that said like you were sitting in front of your computer for forty eight hours. I was. So if everything was already clipped out by then on Power Monday, washing. on Monday, why were you sitting in front of your computer for forty eight hours? Uploads, making sure it was uploading to the drop. So I think I think I think you two where you two diverged. I think you blame Gus more than Coleman. I, it seems like your blame your blame is with Coleman. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Your blame is with Gus. You think you think Gus is lying and didn't do any work, and Coleman bailed him out? I, I think I think both of them fucked up, but I think Gus is lying about that he had all the clips done by Monday. I, I didn't say I had all the clips done you by Monday. You did say that. No, I you said you said you, you said. How did you not? Have, how did you, you not have them all? Tuesday. Yeah, it's fucking. All you, you uploaded because all, I was all, all you were saying for months is that you're yeah. working on this. How was they not all done? I was, Am I, it was. The, isn't that the question I mean, before yes. we get to Coleman? Yeah, like, it was it? so fucking lazy. Like you took the entire segment. You didn't edit the segment in any way to make it like three minutes instead of fifteen. So many segments for twenty five minutes. So it was just like it was just a download. One of the long ones was the entirety of the Cheeks call. Well, that's fine. Yes. Yeah. So like, th there was a couple of the longer ones. Yes, there was definitely some moments that were too long, and I, in hindsight, I should have cut them back. I well, was, even that should have been cut. My, my point isn't necessarily the editorial decision. It's the fact of, like, you literally just took... 20 minutes of something you put no thought behind it so that should be easy for you to clip because there's no thought in your head you're just like you're saying this is the topic i'm gonna grab 25 minutes of it send it off to coleman to put together that's kind of my point is that it wasn't it wasn't you sitting down being like how do i make this fun or funny 25 minute segment how do i cut it down to five that takes fucking time like when should in your mind as a producer of a show when should you start working on the best of i think i'm uh, I think a couple of weeks before you plan to release it is more than enough time. Okay. Whenever you have free time throughout the right. Day. I don't like. I mean, you saw that Minifin who put one out in what twenty four hours. That was my again. It's my voice on it was better. The parts I heard were yeah. quicker. Like you know, yeah. and the no transition between stuff. On dead this air. Twenty five. Like twenty five. How seconds is it twenty of seconds? Thirty seconds of dead air. That's that's you, right? You're, that's your call. That's on me. That is your decision. No, no, no. Um. When there's a massive timeline like that, 20 seconds is very minuscule and it's easy to gloss over. So if I went back and didn't, like I undid something. So you, something, go, back and, so you go back and listen to it, obviously. Not the entirety of the whole thing, especially right. those beginning segments were just very long as I was getting them pretty late to the upload time. So 
no, I couldn't see that 20 second blip, but. Um, and why were the why was there no trans why was there nothing between like tra- transitionally? You so used one in the beginning. You used one in the beginning, like, like the first one. I think. Yeah, the whoosh sound thing was in between the segments of Gus and I talking. Like I, I right. included that transition for every single one of those from to tail end both sides of it. Okay, okay, go ahead, Justin. So when did you get when did you get your final clip from Gus? Not and so that was the thing. I so what? Yeah, there, it does feel like there's a. There's a, definitely like just an answer. It's yeah, either like there, Thursday, Wednesday. Well, there's a disconnect here. Someone's covering up for right, somebody. Right. Dave could be right. You know, I don't. I don't. I actually don't know. Or Justin could. I, if he, I'm not right, like Gus, is, to me, like he should be fired. Right. Just say it. No, no. Like you're, you're I, I just like say Gus. I think Gus. Forget is, that. Forget that. Like it, it depends. Like if he's lying in this situation, he should be fired. Probably. Of course he should if he's but lying. Like he knows this shit. He knows Minna fans when they want a best of. I thought he was Does one. It, to me that's, so to thankful me that's, to be to one. To me, now. that's irrelevant. Like, th- th- this is basic. No, but he knows the information. I, know, this is basic, I don't care what, I don't care if it's, a, I don't care if it's this podcast or podcast with eight listeners. Like, you have an assignment. Do I care about best of on its own? Not really. But you have an assignment. You have a job to do. To me, you shouldn't go anywhere until it's done. It should be done and sent out there. Neither one of these guys were close to having it done. And I still don't know. What the fuck? Why it happened? I hear about upload length. I don't know why. And why was it 15 hours? That's something that I wasn't expecting. So, well, yours was like six or seven, right? Yes. Well, then, so over like four months, right? Yeah. Yes. Well, then that that comes out to easily the 15 hours. Well, the thing no? was, well, even even Coleman tweeted out. He's like, he's like, because I think Gus said on Friday, he's like, oh, it's probably going to be six or seven hours, and we're like, Jesus Christ, and. I think Coleman, you tweeted out like, I don't know where Gus got the six from seven hour length from. That's my alone, section right? alone. Right. Yes. And did you think it was gonna be fifteen hours when you guys started? No. What did you think? I thought it was No, what did you think, Gus? Sorry, Coleman. I thought it was gonna be around like six. But Okay, but yours is longer than that. Yeah. Yours is ten, right? Uh, yeah. And then it just got out of hand. Like I my yeah. It got out of hand after it was ten hours? No, it just what got out of hand? This is very, this is a very easiest. A child could do this. Duck Soup did it. Or whatever the fuck his <laughs> name is. You could, like, this is, this is, again, I saw somebody tweet this. It's correct. There's an old Churchill comment. I forget what it is. I, I'm not going to get it exactly right. But Churchill said once, you know, I'm going to make a long speech because I don't have time to make a short one, mm-hmm. which is pretty basic. Like, the more you edit, whether you're writing or doing, Dave knows we did season two of the case. When the first, when you sent out, remember we first did the episode? It's like, and then you chop it down, you chop it down, you chop it down. You make it better. Dave chopped down so much that thank you know it didn't really work out. Thank you for that credit. I appreciate that. Well, yeah, you edited it too much. Where it was, it was one, of, one of you know saving for his life. Nail bag this week. <laughs> yeah. But like again with the first or whatever or a book or a song or a movie. Like you know the first cut of a movie is generally seven or eight hours. You know if Gus was in charge of the Godfather, been forty six hours. So like you know like and Coleman by the way because it's yeah. fucking four months and seven hours. Like why uh, why was it so fucking long? So Gus already gave his answer. It got out of hand. Go ahead. So I had been planning on finishing my entire portion so of all that. that. No. So I got Gus's stuff the Wednesday. I think they seem was, very passive aggressive with these guys. Am I wrong? I have no, no idea if they're against yeah. each other or for well, each so, other. So that's true. No, that, a, they're protecting each other in I some to, way. I see this with but. Ken and Chris where they were united because they were so they fucked up or they thought that the, I'm just trying to get trying to figure out what the fuck happened, and, I, I, I'm, and I'm nowhere on this. Mm. Nowhere. So, it's on you guys, too, your fellow your tra- parts of the, the commission. Our fuck-ups were very easy to diagnose. Well, you called me about his fuck-up. I remember exactly oh, still where I was. I was crossing the street in Lexington Center, uh, right across, like right past Mario's, right across the street. You called me. You said, we got a problem. It seems like that the, there's a catering bill. Yep. And I was like, oh, all right. Well, that's strange. And I was like, what is it, like a like $1,000? <laughs> <laughs> He said, no, it's $29,000. That's a lot. And I still remember exactly where I was. And I thought I handled that pretty well. It'd be nice if we started referring to it as what it was, which was $24,000. But I get it. I, I mean, it's history. Just, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get you, it. You shrewdly negotiated out of $24,000. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, but you're right. That I knew. Plymouth, I knew. It took me a while to, to suss it out, but I got my kill. But this, I don't, like, I don't, I still don't, it's like, 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 like tragedies and like terrible things in history, whether it's a mass shooting, Colleen's nephew, punking out some kid in the hockey. Like you, there's clear video for that. There's video for that. There's an understanding. True. Did the other kid get suspended? Or yes, not? they did. Allegedly. They did. Allegedly. Oh, you, you, I didn't confirm it. That was never my work. That was never my, that was, you, that was you, never my efforts. Okay. Yeah. 
this Justin is right. Is I don't know if they're together. They're against us. Like I don't. Yeah. Gus, do you want to like? Did Col- what did Coleman do wrong? It's it's a communication factor. That's that's where the whole breakdown was between but myself and what Coleman. did it Coleman was, do wrong? What I would say, what Coleman did wrong was we what, have our answer, Justin. They're you. They're together. <laughs> Yeah. No, it, I, w- I wouldn't necessarily say so. I'm just, what? You can't be. Yeah, yeah, yes, please okay. take it. Now, you are the end all be all. You are the boss. That's true. I'm going to ask no, a question. Some of the blame is here for sure. Yeah. Do you, Gus, recognize that Coleman is your lead manager? Do you uh, recognize yes. that? Yeah. He, he is he, your he, de facto he's the a boss producer. in a way after Kirk. He is the producer. Okay. And as I've said, I'm. I was brought on to be the B. And you provided your boss with what you were told you should provide your boss. You were, yes. you provided it to him in a timely fashion. It could have been quicker. It definitely could have been quicker. I should have been uploading the things a lot. You sooner. provided material to your boss when you thought your boss was requesting that material. Yes. So you right now are saying that you did nothing wrong. I'm, I'm, bo- you I, gave the material to your boss. When your boss requested it. What I did wrong. Well, I, yes, I did that part. Yes. The material that I gave could have been better. That's th- that's a whole different thing. We're talking about release of the podcast. The material was shit. That's It was always going to be shit. But the actual... He, Gus did nothing wrong is what he's saying right now because he provided Coleman with what Coleman thought he was going to provide him in a timely manner. Is that fair, Gus? I don't know. I, 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 yeah, that's fair. That's what he's saying. But did he, did he in fact provide it to him in a timely manner? I would ask Coleman. Coleman I was going to... What were you going to say, Gus? Go ahead. Gus is about to completely contradict what you always, just said. No, no, no. I was just going to say, like, I always, I could have always put it up. I could have given it sooner. It, it should have been Why sooner. Why wasn't it done, like, in the Chicago week? What did you do the Chicago week? When I asked you what you do in the Chicago week, I was, you said, we I go was, back and play, you yes, said, I work on best of. I was listening to the old episodes and pulling some of those cuts. So some of those cuts you heard from Chicago were that. I didn't hear them, but they're, but they're full segments, right? Yeah. Well, that's very easy. I mean, you're just downloading it. I mean, it, I, I feel like, you know, Harry could do that. It, uh, it, it's not. A, I was going back and actually listening on two speed to all the old episodes that I marked. Oh, that is such a That's monstrous wild. waste of time. It, it, but why, uh, why would? You? Because I was paranoid. I was going to miss something. You know, from everything. Why wouldn't you just go look at like the vi- the videos you guys tweet on? A you're also going to miss. Show. You're also going to miss stuff. Like it doesn't. Right. Actually, it doesn't actually have to be the like. It's pretty subjective. It's not people like, are going to people would tweet. Oh, you missed this. Oh, you missed that. That's it always going to happen. Like people are always going to have their the, own the, the, the best stuff gets dumped on that every year. Yeah, like it's a tradition every year. So, like, that's fine. That's not the issue. I don't care if it's... I prefer it to be of good quality and people dump on it because people are going to complain no matter what. But for it to be 15 hours and late and have no sense and be complete dog shit is just unacceptable completely. What are you going to say, Coleman? So, I was expecting... What did Gus do wrong? From what I had expected from him, I, like we had been saying, thought that he was clipping up everything all along and... Like, like he had been saying during the show and everything else, like he had all this stuff and he was working on it. I thought I would be able to get it when I asked Tuesday, Wednesday, whenever that may have been, get all of it and be able to piece it together. With so why couldn't you do that portion. then, Gus? Why weren't you able to do that on Tuesday or Wednesday? He did get it on Wednesday. So he got, you got it on Wednesday then? Yeah. But not that's e- the 27th. Yes. Yeah. Okay, this is, I mean, this is cra- I mean, there was crazy. Like crazy that that's, how late, is that late? Am I wrong? Dude? That is late. Yeah, but so. even... Even until Thursday, the 28th, the 28th, I was still, I think it was two months of it, weren't fully in that Dropbox. Like, Why I is that, Gus? I, that I don't know. I was uploading that. I had them up. What do you mean you don't know? So what I did was when I went to bed at that Wednesday night. That's the 27th. The night of the 27th. Things were still uploading throughout the day. So even when I went Why to- weren't these up like- and Why was this- This is crazy. Why was this so fucking done? Talk. Why was this done also, like two weeks before that? that? MP3 didn't lo- yeah, upload in say, time? It Come does on. not take- 50, It sounds like a lot. 15 hours of MP3 That's at most nice. Because I can tell you- That feels like me trying to download like a Springsteen song in like 2000 on um, which my I was- I was- Yeah, was, or like well, trying one, to find a porn thing on- I was using my Surface, which has much more lower processing than that. Why don't you come in here and do it? Why didn't I come- up here, that, yes. Looking, I, that would have been the smarter move. <laughs> I mean, but what also, the fuck? Process- like, why, why, uh, what, what the fuck? Why, why would you do that? Why don't you go to someone else's computer? I, Anybody? Like, the, what? Also, it's fucking twenty twenty three at the that, time. Well, that's what I did. I, I, 
I had to get a new charger for because I left my charger here for this. So I got a new, my new charger. What I the got, fuck are we fucking talking I, I about? Brought, I brought my. What does a fucking charger have to do with anything? Because Why did you shut up? Why did you come here and fucking do it? Because I didn't think about coming here when I was. Never crossed panic. your mind. Because I was in such a panic. I was in panic mode. You were in a panic about the show, so the, but the yes. studio never crossed your mind. Yes. So a what does a charger have to do with anything? Because I was I was originally working on my Mac. The Mac I left my charger here. So I was like, screw it, I can go run out and grab a new one. So I once I So you left your charger at the studio. I left my charger at the studio. So but the studio never crossed when, your mind. I was like, oh shit, I left it there. Why didn't you just because not even just the studio? When, it's literally just like any dude, reliable but, internet connection. But Justin and I have both like been freaking out about the podcast episode not getting out because internet was down here. We've gone to Starbucks before. We've gone to this. We've gone like I've been in the car with Steve in Wall Hollow. We right. put an episode in this car. We found a place where there's water. Like I'm not saying, you know, there's I don't know anything about this stuff, but I know that that that's bullshit, right? When did you get a chart? When did you get the charger? I got it uh, the morning of Thursday, Thursday morning, and that's where I was able to get those last two months. That's the twenty eighth. So the morning of Thursday, yeah. I will also say. So, you went, so, that, so, now, so you went on one charge. No, it's just no. Because, so Dave, so would you say, would you say I, you're I starting have, to change now a little bit? Then yeah, you're a little bit. Okay, little bit. okay. Right. It wasn't. It also, to Gus's credit, it wasn't MP3 files. It was MP4, so those do take longer, and I can understand why it would take a very long time to get those to a Dropbox. I had just assumed it's like AOL or something. What the uh, 2023? No, they do take. So, no, they do take it, a while. What it was is I don't want to go again, there. But why are you using MP4 files? I, 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 I know. Sorry. I know, I know, I know Please sorry, don't just, do that. Go ahead. I understand. But go ahead. So I at at my house, I have this Mac that I'm, I use for most of my stuff because it's the fastest, uploads everything. That's what I try to use. I then have my Surface. It's a small little thing, smaller processing. So when the Mac died, I switched over to the Surface and started pumping everything I could from that, which takes longer than it does Just on the Mac. charge the Mac. Well, that's what I had to do is wait to get the charger and the charger came in, charged the Mac, and that's where everything got up quicker as, as I was with rushing things. So this is because of fucking... So right now... So I don't get this. Well, I don't get this. So the 27th, so the night of the 27th, you don't have a charger? Yes. Right. What time is that when you realize, oh, shit, I don't have a charger? That was like 11 o'clock? I mean, I don't that, know. That's and, the, what, and the 27th was when you believed that Coleman was expecting your content. In the morning off. So it was it, the, my... So, so wait a minute. So all day the 27th, you didn't give it to him and then the no, charger? No, I did. It? I was giving him up. I was giving him different parts of it was uploading at each time. So like the January that true, one, Coleman? the February one. Yes, hit, the but March, that was the April, thing. The I was expecting all of these parts so that I could just put it all together and add my part to it at the end. Instead, I was still waiting for some of these assets to come in, but that's on me as well. Like I should have asked Gus for this way in advance, had these ready to go way in advance Definitely. so that I could just do that. So that's really not his fault at the end of the day. That's on me. But I fully thought I was going to get those, be able to piece it together. When I did get those and saw how long they were, I wasn't expecting that length. I then had to re-edit a ton of mine just to make it not nearly as long, and it still wound up as 15 hours, which is insanity. Why do you have that face, Justin? Why? So, so Gus sends over 10 hours, but your part was still like six hours. So yes. How it, much? How long was it going to be? Cut out. Well, that was another misconception on my part. I thought that these were supposed to be long, and that like I was probably overly focused on trying to get every little. Did you ever go back and look thing. at the length of the other ones? No, I should have, and I just didn't. I I knew that Steve had done a really long one before, and so I guess I just had that How long in my was that? mind. The first one was about six hours. The mm -hmm. 2021, I believe I did. I think it was two and a half hours. 2021 was hair. I think, and then the other two were like four. Okay. See, I thought I heard the... somewhere along there that there was like a 20 hour one. Well, so, you probably could have checked that. Yes, that doesn't seem Agreed. complicated to me. So yeah, that's a fuck up. So I, mean, I, I don't, I don't. <sighs> I think it might have been Kirk's. Kirk had a tweet in 2019 where it's like, "We've been a podcast for four months. Thankfully, I'm not, you know, vain enough to think we have should have an eight hour best of and ended up being like seven and a half hours." What's well, a bar? What's 15 hours? It's also just like the minute it's 15 hours, you know, they put no work into it, right? Yes, that's exactly. Right. There's no editing. There's no thought. There's nothing that got cut out. Like it, like. As good as this podcast is, the best podcast in the world, the best of should not be 15 hours. The best of any podcast should be at most two and a half, three hours. M at the most. 15 hours is insane. I mean, this, and, and it was terrible. It was terrible. So, so you're, you're in a panic because Gus's content isn't getting to you in a timely manner. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. you're still working on your side of the content? 
I mean, at that point, I was relatively ready to go because the tail end of mine, I had a lot of those clips. But the other thing was I also need to needed to re-edit a lot of what I already had edited because I saw the length of what his were coming in as. Okay. But at that point, it's like, I mean, I know you said 15 hours is crazy, but at that point, like five hours, six hours. Oh, hours, but I mean, even before the release. At that point, who cares? Everybody On top knew, of it, I had already... When you started tweeting about the madness of what was becoming with the best of, everyone knew it was a piece of shit. And yes, you know, yeah, like it was. It was. It was nobody. Right. Yeah, yeah, nobody was right. Correct. And on top of it, I had thought that time-wise, it would be longer. So I just had to rearrange the entire thing. But then I also realized that hey, this would have been a way better idea to have drop earlier in the week because now I fully understand why people would be upset when they can't listen at work or anything like that. Just never crossed my mind, and it should have. And did Coleman ever check on during the process, Gus? Did Coleman ever check in like November, December to say, "Hey, how's it going?" Like I would ask he you, would like, you shaking your head, no, no, so. no. He, he would ask questions, but like no text of like, "Can you put this here? Can you send me a clip of that?" So but I would you... ask in the studio, like a good deal of the days, that I would be like, "Hey, like best of, like we need to be working on best of." I sent the first text about the best of to Gus to Josh, who didn't do anything, but right. to the two I think of we're them. We're good with Josh, by the way, too. We don't need him around yeah. anymore. Yeah. Good. Um, but I sent that first text December. Don't you think call Justin or no? I mean, well, I just nice think it's kid. Right. I need I need the interns actually doing work. I'm in agreement. Where I unbelievable agree. opportunity for Josh to take over the Twitter account while all this madness was happening. <laughs> he just <laughs> he's he's decided not to. He just done nothing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think nice yeah. kid, but yeah, yeah. I think seems yeah. nice. But he just comes in. He's like, hey, want an update on my girlfriend? Yeah. yeah. We, I think we, yeah, in I think fairness, we, that's what most college kind of internships are like. What he was doing. This show's just different. Correct. Yeah. You have you have an opportunity to have a role. He's like 40 years old. He's older than me. No, I know, but it's like a traditional internship just sucks but this is a good that was a great opportunity that he just did nothing right like say what you want about harrison like i didn't end well but he worked hard bust his ass absolutely justin was an intern for steve right yeah who are the other interns for steve uh there was will uh well technically i was was kind of mike's intern but i helped out with steve there was will there was uh who's the jack uh, was a good hire dave yeah (laughs) nick 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 was great who was nick uh the kid oh the mormon right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. (laughs) he was all right it was he was nice he was a good good guy we had alistair black that's right so i mean we had like real we had real interns like doing things I don't know. So I messaged them December 1st, start of the month, being like, hey, best of is coming up. We need to be compiling this stuff and get it all together. That was like my main jumping off point for like, hey, let's get on this. From December 1st, that was where I started going back through the entire producer search. The rest of the episodes have timestamps where you're able to go to specific moments. The producer search did not have that. So I had to re-listen through a lot, and I think a valid reasoning to be re-listening through because I didn't want to miss those big moments that happened during that entire stretch. That was a big point of the year. When was the Dropbox created for Gus to upload? Like if, if Gus wanted to upload these December 7th, could he have? What are you laughing at? Nothing. I just like that question. Oh, you like that one? Yeah, it's in the weeds. I like it. I don't even, I don't even think, I, I don't have it exactly in front of me, but I don't even think it should, that's the problem there. I think I should have been the one making the Dropbox and not Gus and just, you know, staying on him to make sure that it was getting filled to be opening that Dropbox late in the game and seeing that multiple things weren't in there still is where I fully think I fucked up in a lot of it. So when was the Dropbox created? Was it created Wednesday? I'll look. Probably. I think it was Tuesday. I just don't. Can you explain to me this charger thing? I don't quite get. I don't understand. About. I, I don't. Do you understand it? It's like, so your computer died and you. So need- I used a different computer. I have multiple computers at my house and it was instead of using my Mac, which is much better, faster to upload stuff. I was using my surface, which I is fear listening. Why, were you, why weren't you using a Mac? It died. Is that it di- why? Yeah. The Mac died. So, and, that's and so all these files that. were saved on the computer directly, not on like an external hard drive. No, they were all no. on an external hard drive. They were, so you could have taken it. I did. You did, right? That's to what the I other did. Computer, yep. Yeah, so I switched, I took it out from one to move it over. Yep. When did you buy, where'd you buy the charger? <laughs> Amazon came first thing in the morning at 11 o'clock at night. It was great. What was great? How much did it cost? Like 10 bucks. What was great? What do you mean? It was, yeah, I could use my Prime to get it delivered in the morning. So it was, I had it first thing Put in the that, morning. Don't save that. Put that expense in now. Yeah, right. <laughs> what else, Justin? Go ahead. You, Justin, you seem, you seem angry about this. I just, I just, think that these clips weren't cut until like Wednesday. I don't I don't think there was a concrete plan. I think I think going into it I received the well, It was definitely not planned. There's no doubt about well, that. I just I just don't think anything was done until I think there might have been like like when you asked like, "Oh, I'm going through the best of." I, I forget what show it was a couple weeks ago. Uh Gus was like, "Oh, uh with, you know, what's his name? Shane's anal fissures." He brought that up on the show and you were like, "What?" 
That's because it's like it was literally like the first episode. I think he might have looked through it, saw it, but I don't think there was any clip of it. Here's, there, what, I, here's what I think. There happened. was no that because that didn't make the best of. Here's what I think. These guys did not think best of was a big deal. Gus kind of worked on it, not really. Coleman went away, and he's like, "Hey, when we come back, we'll just do it. We'll kind of put it together, and get it out there, like twenty eighth, whatever. We'll bang it out there." And they didn't realize a that there was gonna be this guy, which is. On Coleman, of course, but it's kind of amazing that Gus didn't know the shitstorm, but, but he's also a moron. Right. But the shitstorm that was going to come, you know. And then once I start tweeting about it, it's over. Like, it's just, there's no, you're dead. Yeah. That's what I think happened, though. Probably. I mean, yeah. that's from what I can tell. Yeah, I just think they're both, you know, they just, I think they just fucked up. Is that right? I had been working on it and going through and... Really, it was that. But it wasn't done when you shot. left. Like you weren't no. done working on when you. But we got, we got in that. What's that? I said even Coleman's part wasn't done. It's not like Coleman no, was like, like I have my that. best, my best. Yeah, I'm saying when you got on that plane to go to to Hollywood, whatever Universal Studios, it wasn't done. No, but and I, it wasn't. And Gus, you weren't done at that point either. No. Well, then, that, don't we? Is not really uh, ultimately the answer? I had been planning on working on my part during that stretch. Like I brought you were my in computer. Florida. Yes. Like I brought my computer was fully going to like, I still ended up working like two days, just full on, on this thing during that stretch editing endlessly. Like I fully thought that that was going to be the plan. What I had thought going into that though, was that because Gus had kept talking about it, that he had the majority of all of his stuff ready to go so that I could just piece everything together. That seems to me to be the core disagreement that you guys, yes. if you guys have right. on is that, that Gus claims that that was basically done, right? Yeah. So good. then why wasn't it in Coleman's hands at that point? It it was there when he, when he asked me to get them to him. That's on, not what he just said though. Am I wrong? I don't, am I, am I wrong? When I was piecing everything together. What date is that? This was the twenty. Seventh, okay. like the the twenty seventh night was when I wanted to put. And Gus Gus's is saying stuff you're, in you're saying you already had that to him at that. I point. had I had from till April, and then the morning was when the rest of it popped in. So ev everything was uploading that night. In that, I feel like this is like this uploading. I feel like it's like nineteen ninety six. Yeah, I don't, that's I don't just take yeah. that long. I don't understand. Upload. I don't. I don't. But that's that's what I was confused on because I thought I would just. The episodes have are all three that. hours in the show, right? You're two and a half, three hours. Mm -hmm. If it took that long for them to do a 14-hour thing, if it's a fifth as long, then show, show should take like five hours to upload then. Well, that's just audio. With this, it was the, vis like yeah, the video this, component to video it. Video component of what? There's, there's two. The files he was sending were video. Fuck, wh wh oh, that's what you didn't, you didn't clarify that. Who gives so, a fuck about that? I know. That was stupid of me. That I, it shouldn't you made, matter. You went on the YouTube and cut them all as video files to upload? Yes. Them? He wanted them as video files. Gus, I have a question. Shoot. That's fucking madness to think. Uh, so now it's kind of clicking because in the sense of all that video files to upload. That's what it, that is a lot. Say, yes. And so, but that's madness to think that you should delay the production of this. It's, if it's all going to be I don't even video. understand. It's, what the fuck would you do that insanity. for? The other thing was I, to me, it wasn't delaying because in my head, I had 29 30th as that date that we would be getting it out. I came to realize over the course of the week, that's a dumb idea. And we should be putting it out early in the week so people can listen during the week. I just never put that together in my head, and that was my major fuck up. There was not having an earlier set date and not checking in with Gus periodically throughout this entire stretch, so that we could have those assets ready to go. So Got that it. is where it's it's mostly fully on me. You had a question, uh, Gus? Would you be willing to like show like the date created of the clips? Yeah, I mean, uh, on like the thing where it would say like, oh, date created. Well, some of them have different dates now because I went. There are edits that were made after, so they weren't done. They were <laughs> like, but there but was, you edited them. Oh, you were sending separate clips, right? Yeah, because there were there were some part like so the way the way I had to do this was I took each episode. So the cheeks clip, the cheeks clip. The it, cheeks, it should say like created. Example. It should say date created twelve dash twenty twenty dash twenty three. Yes. Does it say that on those clips? Or do, what does it say like 12 27? It says. On the clips that were uploaded to, to Coleman. Um, what are you trying to. What's your point here, though? Because I don't think he cut these clips before Christmas. I most. I, 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 like I said, I didn't. Did I have them all before Christmas? Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. I, and I've said I that consistently. I, I can't even fathom that. <laughs> it's I, unbelievable. I can't even, That's I, unbelievable. Trying to get to my folder. I 
I, I just I hired him. I mean, it's on I me, just I don't guess. believe that, him when it comes to the when he when he cut the clips. Well, unfortunately, he has not. You know, he's like said in the past, he just lies. So, like, my 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 default is not to believe him. Like that would be my main problem. If you're me, would just be yeah, just lying about it. Right, just, that's my issue. I just wish these guys would tell the truth. You know, that's all I want is the truth at this point. Like, it's it's too late when it's not salvageable. So just like. What what are, what are you what are you not? But they're not going to tell us that. So, what well, is? You know, mm -hmm. what are you holding back, Gus? I, I'm not holding anything back. Like it's, I'm I'm trying to find the uh, the date created for the Google Drive. I'm actually going to the just direct folder. If it's, Gus, it's fine. If, it's just, if Kirk it said, matter. if Kirk said today you are fired and you had 15 seconds to save your job, and you had to save it by describing what went wrong with the best of, what would you say to him? As it, it was a failure, I tried. I, don't know I would say I, I would say it was a lack of communication and a lack of planning between myself and Coleman. There was no at the end of the day, there was no clear directive. You understand why I wouldn't trust you guys to, to fucking do anything now, like no, I, Portland or North Dakota or any. Like why would I trust you guys? Came to a fucking best of. Like why would I trust you guys to do anything other than the basic show? Like why you know it's like. But why didn't you care about it? Like why didn't you? Clearly you didn't care. Yeah, clearly like, you guys didn't no, care about it. Like that, that. That's I mean that's obvious. Like, and then and then like all this madness happens and you both kind of hide, right? Like it, it is a weird spot, but it's like it's still a well, show. What's the other thing, Gus? Is you were saying all week the last week before, I'm gonna do all this stuff on Twitter during the week. I have all these big plans, right? Yeah. And where, where were those? And once shit hit the fan, I was, I reached a point where that was middle of the week. Yeah. I mean, what was before that? Well, Christmas was Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday the 26th was the uploading of everything like, like that was my focus and that's when all the shit storm started to pile up so then once the shit really hit the fan I reached a point where if I I I didn't want to be people to think I wasn't taking it seriously because I was and I was beating myself up and it's, it was well you're joking around with everybody on Twitter which I, is no no I did not really like mm -hmm. I only had one I only did one joke on it because it was like the uh, back to the future I said go see the Broadway show but besides that it was did I, you go see the Broadway show while this stuff was downloading or had already been gone up no that was that was before that was a Christmas present what was the when did you go see it I'm saying before uh, Christmas 23 yeah oh gotcha uh, yeah I think it was okay. Saturday yeah go ahead yeah. Um, that was kind of frustrating to me too, though, because like Gus had been saying that he was going to do this week of content thing. And I thought that would be, you know, kind of a, something in the middle throughout that stretch to be, have going on involving the show. And Did maybe you? I could react to that and we could have some back and forth with some of that stuff. And then when that wasn't there, it just started to turn into the best of, and then everything well, that started to spiral. If Gus that. had done two videos, not to believe me, the best of was going to swallow it. That mm -hmm. didn't matter. For that sure. Was, that, no, was, that, that didn't. Nobody, nobody cares about that. Am I wrong? No, no right. definitely. I just, video. I had been kind of expecting some of that, and then yeah. it wasn't. And then for me, like not seeing that, then like I almost felt kind of pinned into a corner where like, am I now supposed to be putting out stuff like that as just mm -hmm. a producer? Like I never feel... I don't feel necessarily comfortable doing that when I felt like that was more of Gus's role in that moment. These guys are, they're, they're a bond here. It's not breaking though. I'm surprised. I know. I'm trying to, I'm trying I just to think know. end of the I day, like it's Gus, on me and it's him. not much for Gus to be able to do in this situation because I should have been the one checking in. I should have been the one it's true. making like specific deadlines for everything. And I think I will be, I have to going forward. Like this will not happen next year. It can't. You're right about that. And the start of, best of like you asked earlier when is the right time to start like it's going to be today like i'm yeah, if you were a better producer at the start of last year then things probably would have been you know more clipped and understood and i mean <laughs> yeah, you know, it's fair yeah you know you could call me to sleep half the year so you're, you're at 6 a.m doing nothing but you know i this uh, i don't know I, I i just feel like i'm being lied to but what, what, what can you do i mean they're gonna, they're gonna stick by this i guess they're gonna stick by i don't know yeah it's you're not buying it no, I'm not. Yeah, I know you're not. I'm not. Are you, Dave? I don't know. I, I, it's a tough one to diagnose. I guess my biggest thing is getting past. It just doesn't seem like they cared about it at all. Which is like, why was it so? Why was it so? Sh we haven't got to the quality of it yet. Why did it suck so bad? First of all, do you guys agree it sucked? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Why did it suck so bad? Either one. Either one of you. I really can answer mainly for what I cut. First of all, the segments in between were garbage. Like that. That With was YouTube? just terrible. Yes. Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. Um, I think that also 
was mismanaged because when I had to go back and recut a lot of mine, I was just cutting stuff out to help for the time sake of things. Like once I realized people didn't want a long product, then I was like, shit, now I need to just go double time on editing out everything that I had been working on Mm -hmm. to make something more reasonable. Mm -hmm. So I think some of the quality fell off there as for Gus's portions. Like if we had had this earlier in time, I could have been listening through and correcting some of those mistakes or finding points that that could have been better or or used differently but because i was getting them late in the game it was really just piecing everything together to put out something final so that's where i think a lot of the quality comes from and that's on me it has to be on me so what's your take gus why did it suck one probably because what i felt is was not what i felt was funny and important probably in the Grander Why did it suck, things. Dave? Why did it suck? He picked the wrong clip. Sometimes it just was like it was just a mess. Yeah. I don't know. I Justin, guess. I I think it I think it sucked because they didn't cut the clips until after they did the intro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's definitely you true. You think though. like because legitimately the whole thing way later. Oh, give me so give me give me your give me give me your so they, they've given their timeline. What is the Justin? <laughs> timeline in your mind how did this operation go you by the way you could very well be right i'm not saying i, I could, I, I could I, also I, very well be wrong on this so I, I'm, what, I'm open-minded to this at the very least go so ahead. what i think happened was it's all started after christmas no i think it starts in chicago you're in chicago. in chicago there's really not much for them to do they're, they're jeff is producing mm-hmm. uh they say what have you been doing they know the, the best of is coming up gus says he started the best of i think he might have started listening to one or two episodes correct which I don't think, or listening to the episode. I agree with get, you a thousand percent so far. Just to get, just to get an idea of it. Right. Fine. Uh, you that, say, which is what, fine. You say, oh, like what, what's a segment? And he brings up literally like the first, one of the first segments of right. the year. Shane shitting his pants out. Well, if you remember, you, I don't think you were at, oh, you weren't at Puppet Genius. I'm sorry. I wasn't. And so I kept saying, I, I once, I'm sorry, Justin. So he had his 77 shows, right? And he kept saying these segments. And I think we talked about this on the air the next yep, day. You did. Yep. And I said to him, what didn't make the cut? And he couldn't give me a single example. And again, that was a moment where I was like, oh, my God, they, 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 have, they have nothing they right started. now. And so that was on the 20th. They had, at that point, Gus, you had nothing up, right? You had, at the 20th, you had nothing done. I had, I had clips pulled, but nothing uploaded. And nothing was done. No. Right, okay. That was, January, that was December 20th? But pulling clips is things are done. That's, part, that's a major it's, part it, of it. A perfect world, but this is, yeah. yeah. But, the clip but no editing is, within those clips. No. But he didn't edit anything within those. So nothing was. There was nothing <laughs> yeah. was edited. Right? There was never a thought. He didn't have a single thing in those clips. Correct? No, some of them were. There was definitely some of them. I I pulled some like parts what? out. What is editing like? Just no, 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 no. Like shortening like shortening parts and not like there like what? Um, which one was it? Which one wasn't okay? Yeah. No, no, it's. I you said which I. I need to pull up notes and yeah. you, you don't know which one. But, yeah, okay. I mean, but when, you, when you said that, you said what's the seventy eighth clip? He couldn't, and then he said the big A, and that's why he said in the intro, he said, "I know we said we're not going to talk about the big A, but, but it's actually going to be in it, and then it ends up not being in it, which gives me like which I, which leads to me like oh, I, I, right. I, I think I think you're saying, I think you're suggesting, I just think they were just like lazy and dumb. Like I don't even think it was like sinister. Like it wasn't like Correct. this master. I think they were just like it was such a fucking mess. They just they just farted it out there. You're agreeing with me on that? Yes. Okay. You and agree like, with that, Dave? Mm. So when, why, why, I mean, why wouldn't that be in there, Gus or, or Coleman? It's your thing. Like, so why when, isn't that in there? When we were doing that segmentation, I was kind of asking Gus to lead me through his portion of things. So when he would bring up things, and you can kind of hear back in some of that, I'm like, what else is going on during this time? And that's where I thought. Like, why wasn't w- the Big A clip in there if Gus said it's in there, for example? Exactly. That was something I thought would maybe be in there because we brought it up. In well, you're the producer. Going back and forth. Yeah, and that's on me, but because I was getting these things late and I couldn't fully go back and listen through this so entire So he was giving it to you. Well, that's, that's quality content control, which he didn't do, and he admits. And, Gus, why didn't you send that clip? Because... Yeah, why wasn't it in there? You said it was going to be in there, right? Yes. And it's not in there. It's not in the best of. You said it's going to be in it. And the, First you said it wasn't going to be in it, and then you said it was, and then it wasn't. How is that possible? Also, one second, Cole. Yeah, it it, it was just a fuck up by me. So well, I know that, but why, why would you it, say it? it? I don't want apologies. Yeah, I don't no, want no, fuck no, ups. No, I don't want it, like why no, didn't it? That why didn't it? I'm sick of this like these sad faces and no, like oh I'm sorry. I forgot like it. why I, did I, things I, get fucked? Shut the fuck up. Like why did it get fucked up? Why is it in there? Other than you, we know it's a fuck up. Of course it's a fuck up. What happened? I, it was I was going through the months and I thought I had pulled that clip and I didn't and I just so you didn't go back and listen to it. Not the whole thing. No. <laughs> I 
And what were you doing when you were doing your back and forth with Coleman? Were you reading the descriptions of shows? Like you didn't script it out. I, your no, 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 no. I, I, How I, would it ever enter your brain you, you, as a thought to say in that intro you, if you didn't? I think, I think, I think Justin might be right. Can, no, can, can, so, I just, can, can I just say something real yeah, quick? Yeah. You want to know Those how notes, I Dave. want to know how oh, oh, I, I took a lot. Um, <laughs> Dave, do you want to know how I know for a fact that you did not have clips put out and like and said like oh this segment, and I believe it was either the intro to March or the intro to April. You're like oh and Kirk did a uh, did a, did pretty well in a mini golf tournament and then you both go yeah too bad it got uh, spoiled by and then you guys go on about Jersey Jerry that happened last. That was year. 2020. No, that what? happened in 2022. Yes, that's what oh, I mean. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Year. It happened yeah, you know, last yeah, 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 year. Yeah, yeah. And you guys go on for about Coleman gives like talking about how the Barstool office was all fucked up. There's no way you Ooh. had you had it. What part out. do we have the part? What, how I, far I, in that is? I I think it might be. Give me one second. Um, Find that, that one of the ones I, that you. I, had, yeah, Justin? I told you. I told you to pull. Yeah. Um, da, 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 da. I believe it was February. The intro to February. Oh. God. So there's no way you pulled it and you said like Jersey Jerry clip show talking about Jersey Jerry. I think it was just you saw it, you saw mini golf and in your mind you That's thought worse than paying three thousand dollars for a guitar at a charity event. Which is <laughs> terrible. It's a terrible for, thing that happened. For me in that moment, I just thought that the two I were get, the same. I, I get that. But I'm I'm talking about I don't think Gus had any clips. But that's also but that's point. also to me he, like a quality oh one second, we'll play it. That's also a quality control thing though, where you have to be like you have to go back and listen to it and say, oh, that didn't happen in 2023. Like, it's the best of 2023. Yeah, but we know that quality control didn't happen. We've already assumed I, I know, that. I know, yeah. but I'm saying to the, like, that'd be like, like yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't know what. Like, like, it could have been I, the I, best. I don't, know, I don't know when anything happened. So if you, if you ask me what happened that was 2023, I wouldn't know. But the point is, if you're doing a best of 2023, you should you fucking should, know that. Or right. if you talk right. about it, it should be yeah, in, in the clip. The clip. Yeah. Many times, like even the description of part one, it says January kicks off with uh, the sad passing of Jon Stewart. John Stewart doesn't get into until the twenty second minute right. mark. There's and again, a, and Justin doesn't remember this. He died in October, yes. but yeah, that's fine. Yeah, well, but you, but you don't remember that, but that's fine. You, you, you're not a fan of this, but that's fine. My man, that's fine. <laughs> Jack. Um, Jack. But uh, but it's just if you listen if you listen to the intros, you can tell they had nothing clipped. They literally, I think, I think what happened was they sat down and they scrolled through it and said, "This happened. This happened. Oh, this doesn't part happened. Oh." The headline for this is mini golf. Oh, remember when uh, Jersey Jerry? Like, it, there wasn't anything done beforehand. Right. Like, so, I don't know if I'm making sense here. Drew, you're, you're very, take it easy. You're very emotional. It's okay. I'm thinking about Jack. Yeah. Uh, no, everything Justin is saying makes sense. And to me, I was looking to Gus to guide me through those episodes and those stretches, uh -huh. thinking that. Right under that bus, Dave. Right under that bus. There it is. <laughs> and for some reason, Gus doesn't want to do it right back. <laughs> I, I don't know, know I don't understand it. He's trying to help you. Gus, he's tossing you under the bus. Everybody, uh, like everybody thinks this is Gus's fault, and he's just sitting there. But it's not because I'm the one that should be on him about this. See, playing a smart like that. No, this is it's a genius play. Yeah. You, you were never that smart, play. Dave. You were no, never that no, smart. No, this is a genius play. <laughs> Dave would be, if it was somebody, he'd be selling. Oh, my oh, God. Throw him under the right bus. Under. So even, even it's it a was, comedy show. Are we trying to make people laugh around here? <laughs> it's just, it's unbelievable. But if you play those I think in, uh, yeah, go ahead. intros, it happens multiple it, it, times. Explain it, it again. So explain, so what you're saying, because I don't think I'm quite following. So the fact that it was in 2022, to me, is just bad because I got the year wrong. Why is it more than that? Because it shows that he said he had the clips cut up and he went through it all. But like even in the January intro, they say, "Oh, oh it's, it's Mike." So it's what you're saying is, what, what they're telling what they would what, right, what they're leading us to believe is that that they recorded that after all the clips were done. But yes. we're just saying by that that proves it clearly is not the case. It's remarkable to I say have, things I, in their I, intro I, that I they actually, didn't have. Actually, happened. I, right. you know what? I actually agree right. with but, Justin. But it actually, I actually agree with Justin. It happens. Thank you. It happens multiple times. Like in the in the best of part one, they say, "Oh, it's Chris versus Clemmer." Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's Mike versus Clemmer. There's no the only Clemmer clip from part one is him talking about the Hall of Fame ballot. Right. And then it cuts to... in forget that segment. It cuts to in February uh, for the clip. It when goes, you say part one, to be clear... You January know I mean? oh, well, I'm just saying, it's not the first part that was tweeted. It's not part two slash three. Right, because, I mean, the order of the way it was released to everybody the was not one, podcast two. That was what was released. the order of the release, Gus? It went three, one, two. But it went yeah. two, three, one. Uh, uh, two, 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 three, three, one. Two, one, two, because it, it was originally Coleman put up part, his as part two. Right, Coleman went rogue, right? Yeah. Because yeah. mine was the only thing that was able to be uploaded. Oh, you understand like, why that makes no sense, Yes. Okay. It, I mean, that's just, just, that was another, a panic move, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. It was just the spiral started, right. and that was all I had that I had 
tied to my name mm-hmm. that I could be able to put out there. In your mind, I'm always curious about stuff like this. Did you think at the time, like, this is a good idea? I'm going to release this part two. Like, people are going to be like, oh, wow, okay. No. This makes sense. Part two's first. This thing's a disaster. Like, you know I, what I mean? I think, I think in that moment, I was just partly frustrated a bit with Gus. So I was like, let me just get my part Aww. out and be able to do that. Jeez, Gus, you get. Come on, Gus. I know you wanted to do Gus. But, but I'm saying, I was trying early. But I'm man. But I'm saying that's that's the bad oh, okay. decision and, and the horrible move. And but in that moment when people are waiting on this thing to come out, that's all I could physically do because Gus, from his end, we realized that was way too long to be able to upload. So then that his needed to be broken down as well. What and do you we, think, Gus, when he's throwing into the bus like this that. time and time? Like, you're okay with that? I oh, mean, kidding aside, I'm not trying no, to. No, it, it it definitely it sucks getting thrown under the bus every every two seconds on it. And when when I did see the, his part come out, I took that as a direct shot at me, as if he was sure. like. Well, did you guys communicate all about that? Like, I don't know. Like, I, if somebody did that, I'd be like, "Hey, what the fuck?" Like, did you do that or no? I mean, I at that point, my focus was getting my halves up because it, I just knew, like, again, it looked like it was a direct shot at me, me not doing anything, him having his portion up. And me just kind of sitting back as I was waiting for it. So that's why I, instead of like texting, reaching out, being like, what the fuck? I, I'm not a confrontational person when it comes into things like that. It's, I would just rather get my end up before dealing with any bullshit. Are you down on Coleman or no? No. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Justin. Uh, I, so this kind of leads into uh, my game. Um, you have a game? <laughs> I did. I did oh, bring a game. Oh, great. Let's play some music. Um, <laughs> So it's called we, we, we music, Justin. Oh, sorry. They won't, they won't have it probably. Then. I'm going to get it. Do you think I made the wrong move in hiring these two guys, Dave? Justin's got a game going. But come on. Play the game. Wait, 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 I'm still a Matate and Mick guy. I think it would have been a better show with Matate and Mick. I will say this. Like, I saw all of these tweets over the way. The people's memories are unbelievable. They're like, geez, bring Colony back. He would never fuck something up. Oh, my or, God. Or be like, Montante. You know how bad Montante's best up would have been? Like, it would have been uh, up. No, Montante would have been so it sloppy. Out. So dramatic. And then Mick couldn't deliver a t shirt to Jeff D. Lowe. It took three months. How about Mick and all his giveaways? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's giving them like koozies. Like, I like Mick, but let's yeah. like, everybody forgets the bad and like sell it, you know, which I get. Yeah. Like, it, you know, if they had, if Mick and Montante had been they fucked up, they would have been like, oh, Coleman, you know, it's like whatever. Yeah. Yeah, back to the music. So it's called, was this feature? This is only part one, because if it was all three parts, it would have been sure. I understand. 10 hours long. It's called, uh, was this featured on best of part one? And was so, this featured on best of part one? So okay. we can start, good, cause I, you know, I didn't listen to it. So we can start good. off each segment by actually, we can play the introduction to kind of give you a hint like, oh, they're introducing a segment. So when I ask a question, it'll either be yes or no. You can say, oh, well they introduced it. He's a nice, he's a very nice kid. He's a very earnest, well-meaning young man. Was that Mike Cologne? Was he part of the best of 2023? Yes, sure. oh, no, no, oh, sorry. Oh, am oh, I giving something away? I mean, oh, sorry. <laughs> so very nice guy. We can listen mean. to the like intro of January to to start to start off. Right. All right, everyone. Sorry. I can't believe it. Ju- I can't believe Justin didn't do something Welcome. revolving. Oh, one second, revolving yeah. around this world during the break. I think it's some sort of video. I think yeah. gonna do, I think you're gonna sit somewhere and watch the listen to the entire thing in video or something. Yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been yeah. doing a whole bunch of nonsense. What do you mean? Oh, uh, I've just been, my, my family was sick and my grandfather's in the hospital. So I've just been going I up saw and some minifans fans going after you because your family had COVID. Right? Yeah, they were calling me fucking pussies because I said, oh, I'm sad because uh, everyone in my family has COVID. And they Weren't were like, they like, suck it up, you pussy, and get out get out there or something? Was yeah, it, and it was like, I was like, we're still hanging out. It just sucks because everyone's sick and I can't hang That's out. That's the one thing about the, the, I get it. I get like the COVID's like not real crowd, but. Like, if you have COVID... It's like the flu. Yeah, you're sick. Like, you don't want to go... You're not going to go to somebody's house. Totally. And, like, go yeah, to Christmas I mean, if you're same, like... Same thing with, like, a cold sneeze. nowadays. Yeah, too, yeah. Know? It's, it's just common like, courtesy. Jesus Christ. And they were like, oh, I don't mean to call you a pussy or blah, 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 yeah. but I kind of am. I was like, what Jesus. the fuck? Hey, look, I, I am sick over the break as well. Go ahead. KMS 2023 Best Of. Uh, if you're listening to this, I hope that you had a happy and healthy holiday uh, for you and yours, but we're going to take you back through... Some of the great stretches of this past year, some of which I wasn't a part of last year this time. uh, We had Dave Cullen in, so Gus and I weren't here at all. Uh, So we're going to touch a little bit on that, go back through it, uh, and then get into our own producing stretch run uh, towards the end. But we couldn't do it without the one man. This is fucking nauseating. (laughs) Jesus Christ. This is fucking brutal. Uh, Greatest to ever do it. Podcast Jesus. And what a year it was for him and this show. Uh, So without further ado, 
Gus, why don't you take us back to January? Oh, I'm vomit. This is what it was. Twenty three. What yeah. was going on in the world? So this is where I always find myself going. Hold back on. on. This is this is the, this is the product you guys put out there, right? This is what you were good with putting out there. Sadly. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Fan at this point, so I'm going back and now kind of seeing it through a different lens has been great. And like January was so great because you had the introduction of uh, Tony's Fuck Girl Emporium, <laughs> one of the great callers. Tony's Fuck Girl Emporium. Uh, okay, I got you that. Sorry, Justin. some yeah. drama with Mike and Clemmer. Drama with Mike and then This was January. As we yep. were yep. kind of coming Fucked to all terms Mike with Clemmer. the uh, realization that we found, we were so late on finding the passing of John Stewart, uh, uh, there that. was the talks of starting to have the, a night for John, and then there was a whole show dedicated to John. So we'll, we'll hear a couple of those touches and more, and a couple more good callers. A lot of A couple of those touches and more? Year, so hopefully we'll okay, get some back. All right. So that was that. that was so that was that. So, so all right. So fucked all Emporium, Mike and Clemmer, John Stewart. So am I missing anything? Or so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say a segment, and you think, and you're gonna say yes or no, and then it, can it, someone keep track of if, if it actually it. aired or not? <laughs> yes. Okay. Go ahead. Tony's fucked all Emporium. I'm gonna say yes. That's a good caller. I feel like that would have made it. And it was also mentioned in the intro. Right. That's what I'm saying. Well, you're <laughs> saying the ones were mentioned in the intro. No. No. What? It was. It was not. In the <laughs> <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't. It didn't make the cut. Well, no. Gus, what not. happened? I, I swear I put that one. In. I know it. I'm gonna pull. So, uh, so let me get this straight, Gus. You're saying that somebody went in and manipulated the sound? No, I'm not saying that. I, so what are you saying? You swear it went in and somebody you took know how it out. How bad it is that when somebody asks you if something was in the program, you don't know, you don't know <laughs> immediately. No, I'm trying because I'm going to open my thing. No, it's it's not in there. I thought it was in there, but it's not. Who ordered, I know. <laughs> 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 what about? But but wait a minute. But Gus swears it was in there though. I, I don't know. <laughs> did Coleman, did you delete it, Coleman? No. Okay. I'm just trying to get this straight. Okay. How about uh, <laughs> Moss Dudley calls Jim and Marjorie? What was that? Was that teased or it was no? Just a, no. Just, oh. it, was just a, um, it was just a segment. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it did make it. Oh, good. Okay, great. That's great. I'm sure it's very funny. Uh, Linda Marks writes a poem about Damar Hamlin. Yes. Yeah, that's I heard like that. I, yeah, I heard yeah. that. You're kind of right, because there was oh. not one segment on it. There was two. <laughs> oh, good, good. They repeated it? There was, no, it was once once she wrote the poem, and then mm -hmm. a couple weeks later, she turned it into a song. Oh, right. Oh, so both of, that, both back of those. Back, right? both so of what those. you're suggesting is maybe that should have been one cut, or maybe just picked one of them. Yeah. Right. but it, Or none of them. I'm not saying, I'm just saying, but right. both of them made it in. Good. Well, that's great. Yeah. Uh, Mike, Mike and Clemmer fight. Well, the, well, I presume it was. They teased it in the thing. No. <laughs> is that really true, Gus? They, there was mentioned that they were talking about it, like um, why Mike shared his side from it. What? No, that. No. What did you say? There was like, blind Mike. So had hold talked, on, on it, but it, no. It on was, your files, like where is that mentioned? Like what is it labeled in your files? It's it was part of Clemmer Matta MLB Hall of Fame. It was in that clip. That, That's where I you, put for that. No, what you. One second. That's, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying in the, the way I have it clipped with the name title, it, that's where the thing would be. What you saw, and I don't want to put words in your mouth here. I, I, I understand. I'm just, I'm saying I, you asked what I saved it as. That's what I would, that's what I have it saved as. Um, there is a, do, 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 one of the... <laughs> The first episode in the description, uh -huh. Mike details why he hates Clemmer even more after his appearance. Okay. So I think you read the description of the first episode of 2023 and then mentioned that in the best of, but there was no, because the hall of fame thing that you're talking about happens at the end of not to spoil a question in the game, um, okay. happens later on in the thing. So I, I what's so, your defense there, Gus? I, I thought it was it, the Clemmer thing was all encompassing in the MLB one. I did not put the fight. So you, know, so you, you think he has his phone up, looking at it. I think he just read it and said, "Oh." Well, here's the, here's here's what's here's what the truth is. Also, is they were like, "This is a memorable clip." Whatever they started listening to it, like they didn't listen to the whole the whole segment. No, they just like selected. Right. But that's yeah. true, Gus. Right? Like you yeah. weren't listening to the whole segments. The ones you put in there, you didn't listen to the whole thing. Some of them I did. Some of them I didn't. <laughs> There was, there was some... I mean, Dave, I, I mean... Quick uh, question. One second. Honestly, guys, all kidding aside, like, how, how do I deal with that? Like, as a human being, how do I, I, I deal know. with no, that? I mean, that's your... I mean, that's a piece of real... I, I don't know. I always looked at that RSS feed as like a piece of real estate that's yes. like you care a lot about. Sure, but so I'm saying... Put a, it was like an 18-minute segment. It's like the it's like the thing with Jeff D. Lowe and, and Menners. Like, if you, you're not going to listen... We did this already. We went yeah. over this, Gus. Yeah. 
You're not listening to the whole clips for best of? Like, you didn't listen. So it's the best of the year, the best of the Kirk Minahan show, right? Yes. This is, to me, the core of it. Yes. And there were just segments you're like, oh, that was a good segment. And you listen to the whole thing, you just put it up there without knowing everything that's in there. Yeah. Look, stop the music for a second. All kidding aside. Nope. Like, this is, like, I don't know. Like, what would a normal person do, Gus, if, if somebody said that to their boss? What would the boss generally do? Fire him. I mean, am I wrong, Dave? <clears throat> I, 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 I'm gonna do whatever I want to do, regardless right. of your answer. I'm just, I'm just, we're having. We're, this is the show. This is the show. This a is complete lack show. of concern, and it's not even his property. Like it's somebody else's name. This is after the this is after the Menors thing with Jeff Lowe, right? Yeah. You told me like, we we had this conversation. Yeah. Justin, what, Mo, am I? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's I get it's not a normal job. It's been said before. I don't but, care about that right now. That, that does I'm just saying. It's the best of the year. This is your job. You told me for months you were working on this. And the segments you picked, you picked. You didn't listen to the whole segment, right? Right. Well, I don't even, I think we're here. Like we've arrived at like, I, I, even, I'm, I don't even, I don't know why I just realized that, but like that's unbelievable to me. These segments, 15 hours, a lot to listen to. 22 minute segments over uh, two months is not a lot to listen to. And you told me you listened to everything twice the speed. So you didn't, right? I listened, I, I, I listened to the full episodes at twice the speed, but that was just to kind of get points when there weren't any timestamps in the description. So you were just like, okay, this segment's 36 minutes. I know it's a good segment. I'm putting it in there without listening to it. Yeah. I, I, like, like what I would do. I don't so, even know what to do so, with that. I don't even uh, know what to do with that. I wouldn't I don't even, I don't even know what to. Like, I wouldn't listen to the... I don't want to fire anybody. You know that, Dave. I don't want to fire anybody. I have my ways of getting people to quit. No. Yeah, it's but mutual. I, huh? Mutual. Yeah, totally. I, but I don't... I don't... But, like, what, what, what would you... What would you What would you guys do? We'll get to Coleman in a second. What would you do if somebody said that to you? <clears throat> like, forget... I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm going to make up my mind on stuff no matter what. This is... It, pretend that the three of us are having lunch together, as impossible as that would be. The three of us are having lunch together. And this comes up. What would you say to me, Dave, after the show at lunch about this? You're an insane person to keep him around. Something needs to be. I, I, I don't even know. Maybe what like a week off or something. But I don't even understand. But what's going to change? I, I don't know. He literally didn't listen to a two-minute segment with Jeff Lowe and Manners, right? That was two minutes, I think? Mm -hmm. It was. Like, what? I don't, I don't get it. You love this show. Like, I would think that would be the job you would... Are you just lazy? That would no, be a job that you'd you like You are lazy. You stop. You, now you're... Of course that's... What else is that? You told me when I was in Chicago that you were doing this stuff. Before that, what were you doing? When I... So when I would... I wouldn't listen to the full clip. I would, like, jump <sighs> in the parts of it. That's like... I, I would listen to segments of the segments and looking... Oh. They, it would, I... Problem is, if I fire this idiot right now, which I want to do, becomes a martyr. You know how bad your Coleman's gonna get destroyed. Yeah, Destro you gotta play this one right. Destroyed. Yep. But like, it's on him too. You gotta listen to. The, he didn't listen to them. You weren't listening to those whole segments he sent you. No way. No. Right. I mean, same fucking thing. Right. Like, what the fuck, guys? Like, seriously, Jesus fucking Christ. This is not a tough job. I had the job for three months. Right? October, November, December. Three fucking months, two weeks, I was gone. I was in New York for a whole week. I was in Chicago for a whole week. What the fuck? This is the time you should be fucking all, 24 hours a day. 11 o'clock, something doesn't work. I wait till the next morning. What the fuck? Or well, am I listening to whole segments? Nicole was probably the same way. I mean, this thing is seven hours long. I, I presume I, you were listening to your whole segments. Oh, I actually was listening through a great deal. Like, because I kept saying, like, that producer search stretch had no timestamps. Like, I had to find those cuts, and I still relatively stand by a lot of my own cuts that, like, I was finding specific moments. Like, I had to listen back through a lot of episodes to get them. And full segments. I don't know. Justin, where are you at on this? Question two. Oh, go ahead. Yep. Big click guy calls in. Who? Big click guy calls in. <laughs> Big click guy. I don't remember him. Well, it did make the... Uh, oh, good. Good. Um, it started off 
with uh, a, the Bruce Springsteen podcast mentioned you. None but the brave. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's how it started off. Even though the description says January kicks off with the John Stewart Memorial. Uh huh. Well, yeah. Sure. Well, okay. Yeah. Uh, then we get into. Did Fem- you listen to the whole thing? I listened to the whole thing, and then I re-listened to part one yesterday when I went through this. Okay. Um, and then uh, February. We get to February. So. February, second month of the year. So I don't know. Do you just want me to read it? Do you want to hear the intro? Call me his birthday month. Yes. Hear- Is that right? No. Oh, September. It's December. I'm September. I'm February. You were me. Yeah. You're September what? September 9th, baby. Really? Yeah, nine nine. Nine nine. So that would have been. I was five. Sunday. Nine eleven was a Tuesday. Yes, I was five. You were five. Mm-hmm. Do you remember nine eleven? I do. I remember my dad being bullshit. That's it was one of my first memories. Bullshit the boat. He was like, "Fuck, they're fucking coming! Oh. Fuck them! <laughs> Fuck them!" Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was saying some other things too. Yeah. But oh yeah, sure. We were all angry at the time. Yeah. I was just, Bruce Springsteen. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now we get to February. February. Um, I don't know if you want to hear the introduction to. February. I don't think I want to. Okay. Um, Tim and Ken asked you if he, if you'd rather have Shirley lick your toes or have Shane's anal fissures. I have to think I'd rather see Shane's anal fissures. I think. Well, that, that did it make the best of? No. Um, did it make the best of? Come on, what do you, you know? It, it did. It did make the best. <laughs> it of. did make the best. Oh, okay, of. great. That's great. Um, Cullinane, quote, fucking up the John Stewart raffle. Which was mentioned in the intro. How'd you fuck that up, dude? I cut the, the I, cut. The yeah, cutting. scissors cutting. Yeah. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> we can't do fucking do anything. It's unfucking believable. It was solved very quickly. Though. It was great event. Uh, that made it. It did not. Ah, well, it was hey. mentioned in the intro. Did make the cut, Dave, as it were. Yeah. Um, okay. Nipples <laughs> texting Alba. That has to make it. That's a big moment of the year. It did make it. All right, good. good. That's good. Um, we call it texting now, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Trent might come into the studio and kill you. I don't remember who that is. Oh, Trent's the one I saved. I saved his life. Oh, he saved his life. Yeah, uh, that didn't make it. Oh, it did. Oh, good. Thank God. I can't, who can forget Thank that? Thank you, Gus. I appreciate that. Timmy Canton calls in and says Montante's mom and Julie's dad should start to date. Hmm. No. Oh, that did make it. Good. Mm. Good. Okay. It's the best of Timmy uh, Canton. Dave single-handedly uh, starts canceling people and gets Tony Oof. Maz suspended. Well, that obviously made it. Oh God, don't do it. <laughs> Did not make it. What? It didn't. It didn't. Wait, hold on. What? It, Gus, how did that make it? I don't know. The introduction to the PC sleuth is in the description, right? And it said he played the Mina Kimes clip first, right? They mentioned Wait it. a minute. What? The Mina Kimes one is not the Tony Maserati one. No, no, no. It said PC sleuth is introduced or whatever. And the example of me being introduced was the WEI Mina Kimes clip. Well, well they, t- uh, they talk about it in March. They say, oh, we hear in February... You know, the the start of canceling colony, but it's not brought up. Do they actually mention Maserati? No. Okay. Um, that's a, that's that's would definitely be my best of the year. Go ahead. That's unbelievable. Go ahead. Problematic picture of Maserati last night. Did you see that? He's a member of a gang. <laughs> so Luma Lowe Luma Lowe he's making gang signs. Didn't make an issue. Didn't Lou say that about the uh, Dolphins quarterback? I believe so. Yeah. Remember the concussion? Luma right. Lowe was like, she says he's throwing up gang signs. He's throwing up gang signs. Jeez. So, Gus, your explanation is you don't know. Huh? I missed it. You missed it? That's... That's what? That's it. That's okay. Go ahead. Keep going. March. March. We're okay. in March. Yeah, we're in March. Greg Poehler listened to an old Dino and Callahan clip. I remember him, yeah. Dangerously entertaining or entertainingly... Entertaining... Uh, 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 entertainingly dangerous? Entertainingly... Entertainingly dangerous. What's that? I don't know. Is that what we were saying? Uh, they were talking about Dino talking about Trump. Oh, gotcha. Greg listened to an old DNC. I hope clip. that didn't make the best of the year. So that's how it kicks off. That's how, that's how we <laughs> kick off the, the Munch of March. Jesus, the Munch of March. Okay, go ahead. The unnamed golf gambling show. Okay. Sure. That had a great run. Mm, great show. Great run. Yep. That, I, I would like to think that made it. Yeah. It did it, make it. Good. It was a lot good. of effort putting together that show, by the way. It was. I just want to let that be known. Yeah. Uh, we did one in North Carolina, I think, during the Ryder Cup. I remember we did in some room. Oh, like, I was. Yes. No, you were. Yes, you oh, did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Superintendent uh, Hackett calls in to defend canceling school. Ken Hackett, yeah. That would have made it. She was good. I hope that made it. Uh, I believe it was a he. The superintendent, uh, Julie Hackett, is a woman. Well, the person, well. No, that superintendent Hackett is a woman. Okay. That's who's calling, Justin. <laughs> yes. Let's do, 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 I know yes. you're half, half your ass in Chicago now, but can we try and keep up with the fucking show? <laughs> uh, yes, that did. She made it. it. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, Justin thinks it's actually Trump who calls the show. It must, what a world that must be to live in. <laughs> Jeez, I got bad news about John Amos. Go ahead. Um, now we're, in, we're into April. April, okay. Uh, Mutt partners up with notorious scammer the Big A. 
but we know that didn't make it, right? Did or not make it. Did make it. Okay, right. Did not make it. Ryan Whitney. My buddy Ryan Whitney, yeah. He had an in-studio appearance? Yeah, he was texting me about these guys a couple days ago, yeah. That's just it? He will just anything... That, anything. Feels, like, that feels like something Gus would just throw in there, like, but the fuck, Whitney's good, they'll give you 40 minutes. No? Anything about Ryan Whitney. That month? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Sure, yeah. No, it didn't make <laughs> It didn't make... So, wait a minute. So, <laughs> what does it say? That's the right call, though, by the way. Well, sure. It what, what does it say? It just says Ryan Whitney came in studio? Well, just... No, I didn't make anything about Ryan Whitney making the best of. But I'm saying you're just editorializing it. It should be there. I mean... Like, did, they, did they mention it anywhere? No. Oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah, all right. Go ahead. Uh, Shigun calls in and says he wants to fuck Monica Shellett. I don't know who any of those people Oh, that are. is the Boston Globe Today guy, right? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yes. I mean, I mean it seems terrible. Yeah. Um, what was the thought process there, Gus? <laughs> I thought it was a funny call. Okay. Good. Um, Max wants to come in studio to go over his controversy. Oh, I forgot about Max. Rich boy. I think he would have made it. He was kind of a notable thing, though. Yeah, his first appearance, I think, was good. He's the, the, well, the, his first appearance didn't make it, but him calling in to co- talk about why he wants to come into the second. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> the fucking disaster. Kyle, the ticket guy, has girl problems. Oh, that was a big idea. Uncovering that was a big one. Yeah, sure. Sending her money. Yes, that made it. Boston Marathon documentary talk with Mike Cologne. Unfortunately, I think that made it. Didn't make it. What was the thought process there, Gus? Who could forget that moment? It was the, the Puerto Rican Chris Clemmer, I think, is what stuck out to me the most. I you didn't listen to that whole segment, though, obviously. I listened to most of it. Oh, most of it. Okay, good. That's good. That's good. How long is the segment? Pretty long. Why, Gus, why are you looking at Justin? It's your fucking job. That was uh, five minutes. Four minutes and, and you listen to the most of it. Oh, good. Okay, great. I'm just saying. We expect you, nobody fun. expects you to listen to all five minutes of it. It's not your fucking job or anything. Go ahead. Uh, any of Mayo's never-ending list of questions. I hope that didn't make it. For it did not make it. That, that, that's good. Then. Okay. And that's the that's the end of April. That's part one. Yeah, that's part one. Part one. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. One. I can do part two and three. That's okay. Time. That's okay. <laughs> what do you think is the biggest, most egregious fuck-up of the actual best of it? Forget, like, the actual making of it. Once it's out there listening, what's the worst part of it? Either one of you guys, of course. I think it's just from the the intro clips just sound like from <clears throat> someone who from people who have never listened to the show. That's like if I, you just took two people, I believe it was part two. I think Gus said the biggest moment of the year when he thinks of 2023 was. Do you want to guess? I asked you this this morning via text. Gus said the biggest moment of 2023. Yeah. When he thinks of 2023 in the Kirkman Hand Show. Producer search. Does that mean I'm wrong, that sound? Yes. Okay. Uh, this could be 1A. It's kind of a post producer. You know what I mean? Because he's a part uh, of it. Po- it's after the producer? When, I, when I was asked what Calling was the Calling and leaving. Moment. Nope. That's not the sound you made earlier. Uh, uh, Quinlan coming out of the closet? Uh, before that. Before producer. Give me a, give me a month. Like whatever. Not that it would help me, but... I think it was either May. May. This is what I mean. I'm useless. Uh, me winning a dozen trivia. Uh, Am I close? No. Oh, what is it? Yellow shirt guy. That's the biggest moment of the year? I think that was the most talked about thing in the Miniverse when it happened. It was just yellow shirt guy and everyone piling on him. Colin ain't doing great with like zooming horrible, in. Horrible content to replay though. Oh, terrible, horrible. I think. I mean, I, I get it. it like, th- there should be a, there should that, be. No, that should be included. How long was the segment with him? Um, Let me see. This could be bad. This could be bad. So that's a minute 40. That's fine. That one's 932. That's a long fucking cut, Dave, of yellow shirt guy. And just me beating him up, right? No? Yeah. yeah. And then there was the 15 minutes of calls just berating him too. Won't two calls kind of get the point across there or no? Yeah. Not... I would not put that as the biggest moment of last year. But Dave that... left. No, what? You don't think? I was... No, no, no. That's a, like that's a like a weird one because there was a lot of reaction to that guy just sitting there the entire yes, time. Yes, I agree. Uh, no, Dave, you did a great job that day. Don't worry. Everyone's Everyone zoomed in. Everyone's... Everyone's... It was awesome. You did a great job, Dave. Everyone knows <laughs> yeah. that. I wouldn't put that in the top 20 moments of the year myself. But I, get, I mean, whatever. No, I don't... it's producer search. 
at the end. It's you, the end the producer year. search. I think if you were doing a show or one early, I would probably say Maz. I don't know. Just because there was. That was a good moment. I don't know. For sure. Yeah. <sighs> Let's, you know what? We should we want to hear what the people have to say. Yeah. I'm curious what the audience's reaction. We'll take some calls. I'm curious. What do you think? Is it going to be that Coleman's getting a pass? Too tough on Gus? You know what? I think I think maybe this is just me thinking. I think people are going to be like, why is, like, you know, I had that game, and some people are going to be like, Justin's a retard. Why should he be piling on? Well, but I mean, I've, I've said the start. We, we don't work know. for the show anymore. We, we, all, we all know that. I brought you guys in as, as people who have been through it before. I think you guys do have some. I, well, maybe you don't. I thought maybe you had some sympathy for them. It doesn't feel like you do. I do. You do. I don't have sympathy. I, I just don't have sympathy when you call out, when you say all the clips are cut. If I don't you think, you, you, think, you think Gus is lying. Would you yes, I no? do. You think Coleman is lying? Yes. Okay. Do you think they're What's lying? What's that have sympathy for? It's an easy project. It's no, but I'm just saying. But, but, but you've just been, you've been I, I have sympathy for the reaction to post and everything and to that's, what he's going to possibly being yes. fired. Sure, I have sympathy for that. But the actual, like, fucking up the task, nobody would have sympathy for that. I would agree. I, I, I know I don't. Let me see here. But you know, you never know when once these people get taught, you know. I guess that's what that's like what Dave was saying. I don't have sympathy just for the the uncovering of the truth throughout this. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I have none. Like I said, when I hired these guys, like there was no, they're here to work. Like I don't, you know. <clears throat> I think there's some um, institutional issues with their like workflow. You know what I mean? Like you said at the beginning of the show. Yeah, just like every, and it seems to be panning out, right? Communication based, maybe even technology based. Some mm -hmm. of these, some of these things that are happening just feel off, right? You know, right. And everyone does things differently. What's your solution? What's your, what do you propose? Um, maybe an accounting of their day to day by somebody like Justin, who knows the inner workings of that room. And do you feel like the technology. I's and T's weren't? Taken care of in this situation. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Okay. I thought you hired somebody for that, didn't you? Yeah, oh, I mean, it's, oh. I'll, I'll say that person's happy. Bring to, her in this week. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> that person's happy to send text and make jokes about it. But yeah. It's kind of like, well, you yeah. know, are we going to solve this thing or what? Yeah. yeah. I, I heard. Know. Go ahead. Let's do it. When, when you said that, obviously, you know, I'm still off the do. I don't know. No December's over. I'm still off the do. You're I still off it. Yeah. Oh, you know, great. I've decided to, to stay off for a couple more months. When I heard when you said everyone in Papa Gino's doesn't believe I could walk. Miles? No, that's not what everybody. No, you said you ran five miles. I would like walk and run it. I'm not. That's like, what we're Now you're. This is what we're now. We're falling this trap again. You're lying. I think. Like four or five miles. I, if you look back, I said I walk look. or run five miles. I spent five miles on the treadmill. People laughed. I know. They, people laughed at you. I didn't laugh. People were laughing. You do and five then, miles on the treadmill every day, no matter if it's running or walking. On the treadmill? Yes. Oh, I thought you meant like you just get that many steps in. Basically. No. Oh. Uh, no then when I when probably, I texted this person and they were like, "I did say that." Okay. That's well, she was honest at least. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It hurts. It was milked that foot injury like her. It's been like three <laughs> years now. Good Jesus grief. Christ. Mm -hmm. Freaking marathon bombing victims who have had got less juice off of that <laughs> than she has. Jesus. Ugh. But oh, she was burying those guys. My God. <clears throat> All right, they'll load up, I assume? Yes. All right. Hello. I don't want to talk about anything else either, so I'm fucking, I don't want to talk about boobies or the fucking Iron Claw or whatever. Let's just go here. Hello. Hello. Oh, no. What's the difference? Good morning. This is unemployed Dave Colin Ains, burner account on X. Watch the radio watch. Get a load of this. As of 2023, the passion of the Christ is the highest grossing R-rated film domestically, bringing in $370.8 million. Think about that as we continue listening to The Passion of the Gus. Send. Never good. Yeah, it's <laughs> tough. I can recognize it now, too. Yeah, yeah it's never. Yeah. That's your account, Dave. I don't associate with that that much anymore. That actual account gets very worked up at times. Yeah. Take it easy. He was angry at me recently. What'd you do? I don't know. I think I mentioned something. Got mad about something. <laughs> mm. Hello. 
Hey guys, this day's mother-in-law is dead guy. Oh good. Um, <laughs> I don't. I, I don't have any, I don't have anything for Dave. Summer uh, wedding, Dave, or no? These, I, I these... have nothing to say. <laughs> What's going on? You I, can't say that. No, I have nothing to say. I don't. I don't have anything to report. I just met two new people. To be to be clear, if there was nothing going on, you would say there's nothing going on. If there was nothing going on, I would say there's nothing going on. Right. Is there? I'm is, an open book. Is there nothing, nothing going, going on? on? There's nothing going on. <laughs> why are you looking at me? Like <laughs> there's that? nothing going. That's on. That's an appropriate forgetting everything. Forgetting. I don't know why. One second, uh, Dave's uh, dead mother-in-law guy. It's been what over two years. That to me is an appropriate grieving process. Everything deserves context, I would say. Well, are you going to provide it? Nothing happened. If I could, I would. But would you say forgetting? It was just two. It was a random guy in Iowa, right in yep. um, West Branch, Iowa, where the Herbert, Herbert Hoover Museum is. I've run through there many times. Well, yep. twice. Let's say this guy has been two and a half years with that friend. He just wants a little companionship. You if, wouldn't judge if, the guy. If the elements were exactly the same, right. I would have the exact same. Thought process. What is that? Even though nothing happened. What well, the thought process? Well, nothing happened, so I don't really have it. No, but I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, context saying, matters in all these. I'm situations. saying, say a guy is a widower for two and a half years. Yeah. Forget, forget the situation. But it's not as simple as just saying a guy's a widower. Well, let's just say, let's just say a guy's a widower. He he's just been grieving for a couple and of he's years. Lonely. And sure. he's, every night he's sitting there. At his, he's at his kitchen table and he's having his soup and he's watching TV. That is good. Yep. You know, yep. and there's just and the, there's families you are outside. Not going to get me to admit I'm gay or something in this there's conversation. Families. It's not happening. I, I've been around you for too long. Why you're saying? Yeah. No, I'm just saying you're not going to work me into this. No, I understand what you mean. People are walking. Families are walking by holding hands as there's, there's couppels there's little kids the guy wants to go out twice a week 100%. and have a little dinner and... everybody's timeline is different <clears throat> right so you'd be comfortable with that yes okay all right hmm. you buy whitlock's argument <laughs> i do not buy whitlock's <laughs> argument he idiot. is tri- tripling quadrupling down on yeah it, though. yeah but get your voice too so he's just gotta he's just a dummy he that's like your ass eating thing there is something to i've it. never searched like this is my th- i just want to let this be known i've <laughs> never said it outside of this show ass eating has never come into conversation when you say it search. now even if you say it now i think it comes like on your phone though Right, it definitely does. I think it does. That's what Siri is built for. Right. Ass eating. Yeah, I think so. All right. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Please. Oh, no. No problem. Uh, These two guys, there was a clip of Gus going around last week saying, you know, saying he... You know, you can't hide from the Minna fans. These two were hiding all week. No question about that. put out a shit product that hit on Twitter. Dave Dave has his faults, but he had his mother literally murder his mother-in-law with her bare bare hands. He he got out the best of. He did. And he put in the clips of the mother the mother stomping all over the grave and dancing on the grave with the mother-in-law. You two have no excuse at all. I mean, you guys definitely hid during the week, right? Yeah, I. I don't think I really did. I kind of played a step back. Were you role. drunk when you were tweeting the other night? Like, this is the year of KMS? Oh, yeah. Believe that, though. Was it the year? That's not what I asked. Uh, yeah, I was a little... Okay. I'll, I'll handle the year of KMS. Don't, every year. I, I, I don't, I don't, please don't. I don't want to do that. I hate that shit. Don't that's fair. That's yeah. fucking like bars. I, I, it was not, you know. Yep. Anything else, Dave's dead mother-in-law guy? Ah, uh, he left. Okay. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. You love weddings. I do love weddings. <laughs> love weddings. Yeah, I definitely do. I do. Wow, another gay Vermont nope, wedding. Nope, nope, nope. You shouldn't assume anything. Don't assume anything. Wow, he was gay all along. Hello. Before I get to my best of point, what are your thoughts on Justin wearing shorts today? It's kind of freaking I'm fat. Me out. Fat guys wear shorts. Fat, I'm fat. I wear shorts. It's like it's. Uh, I think like nipples the same way, right? Timmy Cant used to be. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's just in my DNA. Uh, T.J. Hubbard too. Yep. Yeah, fat guys. We're short. I don't know why. I've never understood just, the problem with that though. I don't either, but I, but it's very cold. Yeah, but though. you're outside for thirty seconds. You're walking you your car shorts? to a building. Huh? Why aren't you wearing shorts? Then? I he's, rarely wear shorts. Yeah, he's the opposite. But I'm yeah. just saying, like, it doesn't. Eh. But you get what I'm I'll, saying. Okay, right? but like, how about but but like if there was a lie, if we were doing a you show, think if he was playing dodgeball outside, I'm asking later, if, I'm asking if we're doing a show today outside, would you be in shorts? No. There's a good chance I would be. TJ Hubbard, I think some of those guys would be. But real, but you're thinking about it. Like, it's not like... But, uh, but just because yeah. you're fat, like, I don't think... I'm just, I don't think your legs are any warmer. I don't know. But it lets it all breathe a little. I guess. I don't... Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a, I don't care. But yeah, yeah. So, Go ahead. But your point on the, uh, the best of. So I suspect a common response to this fiasco is that basically this is, targeted and this is what you should get and the expectation should be reasonable. Is that fair? Yes. But I guess the I guess the response to that is that Colin Ain is also retarded and mm-hmm. his best stuff was way better. So and even
even Colleen is less stupid you know, Colleen, than Gus, stop. I will say. Much Colleen is Colleen is like Oppenheimer compared to Gus. <laughs> and Col and Colleen is stupid, but I'm just saying compared well, like there's there's there are levels of stupidity. Like Colleen just on a form like issue, he, he put transitions in the last set stuff. Like something that is subtle but he's a, he's a, the guy's a Gus veteran radio is. producer. What do you want me to say? Well, he's, he's brain dead. He should have been lobotomized, but... I think he know. was. But, yes, I understand your overall point. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I want to know where people stand. Which side are they on? Or is it because these guys are sort of oddly united? They don't know what to do. I That's, don't know. It is a tough spot. Do you mean, like, you versus them? Or, like... No, um, no, no, them. Like, like I think anybody, when you hear Gus... Like, in le there are people on Twitter who just want to be assholes. I get that. But it, just a common sense person, they hear Gus say, I worked on this for, for weeks... I didn't listen to whole clips. Like, that's not even... You can't make a case against that. Yeah, but you know the the bitching and moaning of Twitter. Like, you know the difference between just hating Gus to hate Gus and then right. or hating, hating Gus or hating, or hating show. Coleman. Right, like, right. It felt like the best of caused a lot of people on Twitter to hate these guys in Different the, way, yeah. the office. Saw, yeah, the other way. Right. I saw more on Twitter against Coleman than Gus. I agree. I, yeah. I agree. Because I think... But, but you know what I'm saying? When you hear that cut yeah. today, you know... It's tough. Like, I don't know the I just don't know the case like, other than if you want to do the whole hey Kirk you hired him fine but like that's but we're past that so I don't know what to do after that yeah you know hello they're loaded up I assume yes okay. hello hey Kirk hello just uh, curious if there's a, a a release date for the best of of the best of it's a good question I don't I, I don't I don't know I don't know what's your what's your take on this call Wh whose side are you on Oh, uh, they're idiots. They're new, but I mean, Justin was too big of a pussy to take the job, right. so yeah, he's sitting there something. ripping them. It's, I That's knew true. this was coming. Yeah, no, it's true. So very true. That's true. Can't argue that. No, yeah, yeah. you know, I'm a Justin will be yucking up with Kate and fucking, you know, KB. It's his hell. Hello. You do agree that Justin, once he goes to Chicago, he's we've lost him. No, I, I don't, don't think so. Oh, yeah, no, sure. he'll be paying attention. Yeah, I know, but yeah. once that starts, it's like. Did you look at her yet or no? <laughs> no, I didn't get a peek. What's who is it? Donna Edmondson. Oh, I heard Playmate of the Year, yeah. nineteen eighty-seven. Yep, eighty-seven. Playboy, didn't she? Uh, she was a real, real estate. Yeah, no Bush though. No Bush in that one. No they Bush. show Bush in nineteen eighty-seven in Playboy. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. I think that was a little later. Once they like, once the internet was getting big, like shit, we got to get moving here. Yeah, because like Hustler would show penetration, mm -hmm. which is crazy to me as a kid. But yeah, hello. Hey, a couple points. Yeah, go ahead. Um, the, the best of is kind of like an annual debacle at this point, so it is what it is, but I actually kind of enjoyed it. But do you get but my point? I'll let you make your point. point. I'll, I'll let you make your point in a second. But do you get my point where I agree with you, but this suggests a larger problem, this lack of discipline, this lack of paying attention. This, You know what I'm saying? Yes, I right. do. Go ahead. But forward-looking, I think the ball was also dropped by Cullinane because I think this has to be a year-long effort. I think Gus has to commit I like to this. having yeah. this cut at the end of every month, having the pieces ready to go, because I think leading it to the end sets them up for disaster. And yeah. I think if Cullinan was invested in the job, this is he should pathetic. have been working on like this, this all This is so year. fucking it's the first guy's made any sense today. But Remember the show something... after Steve didn't cut that audio? He just got bludgeoned by fucking phone callers for... An entire I'm show. I'm telling you, people... What the fuck and, happened? And people, people... What is this fucking program? People don't... People hated Steve. They don't hate Gus. They didn't hate Steve at that point. Well, some people did, because he was... Uh, that was early a on. A lot of men oh, hated on. Steve. Oh, yeah. Come on. If this was you... To your point, though, if this was you... They'd bludgeon me. <laughs> would be, I'd be bludgeoned. They, they think these guys are pussies. That's why. And I would take it as a sign of respect, if I were you. It, it's a badge of honor. Yeah, but this guy shouldn't be calling with shit like this. No, this I, is it's sad. It's, this it's, is, it's beneath, it's beneath yeah. this guy. I, don't I, I have a couple... No, it's sad. No, it's sad overall performance. I mean, I'll theoretically, about, I'll he's say not wrong. I'll say this about Colin Ain. It pains me to say this. Colin would have never put out a 15-hour thing like that. That would not Oh, happen. my God. Not, that would not, he's, there are many, 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 many bad things he would have done. That is not one of them. No, I remember. I think you poo-pooed it. I, I wonder if we talked about it. I thought, like, just doing, like, a top 10 moments type thing. Like, I'm fine with that going yeah, forward. Shit right? like that. Like, <clears throat> I'm fine with that. Even what Justin did, I think, was basically, like, different Minna fans. That's what I actually thought they were kind of going to do because he made it an emphasis on this is going to be on video. Right. So I thought it was going to be a shorter thing. I thought it'd be a 30 minutes, hour type of thing. Right. Which, by the way, back to Justin's point of reading, did you guys film your intros to these segments? 
Yeah. Yeah. So we might have footage of Gus holding the phone. While no, no I'm this. sitting with a laptop in front of me. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he's looking at the laptop. On the phone. On it, I, I think that the, the difference <clears throat> in that part, like what I was trying to say was that I was looking to Gus to guide me through his parts. And then I knew for my part, if you get to part three and listen to some of those intros, uh, I had gone back and picked the important moments that I knew I was going to put in. But then on my end, some of that got messed up because I had to cut things down to allow for a shorter time. When is Mike back? I don't even know. I have no idea. I had no idea he was uh, leaving until mm, like tomorrow. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. I, th I think tomorrow. He's back. He gets back tomorrow. Yeah. All right, so he's in here, whatever. I think he had said he might be able to do that day, though. But I'll circle tomorrow? back with him. Yeah. All right, let's see if he can do tomorrow. Yeah. If he can't, that's fine. We'll he's got a red eye. Oh, yeah. It's that, don't, don't make him do that's that. Tough. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, he may want to just to weigh in on this because by you know how it is. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Um, I have the same caller who had multiple points. or yeah, we're good. Someone else, right? <clears throat> I'm, I'm with Dave. Where's the anger? I always thought Twitter was crazy it was anger. Wild. It was fun. Crazy anger. Almost as much as Yellow Shirt Guy got so much buzz. Hey, Kirk. I think this is totally on Coleman. Go ahead. I think, uh, he's treated this as like a JV kind of minor league podcast compared to the ones that you know he, he thinks are – bigger and mm -hmm. at barstool mm -hmm. i think that's evident by uh when he was asked about like going to kfc radio at some point or uh at the end of last year the last episode when he was talking about how things really picked up when him and gus got there and i think he just kind of treats it as less than uh what he's used to at like the barstool world. Well, I mean, I, I, I'll let him answer. If, if, I mean, if that's true. It's crazy. He's never worked at any. He worked on Content Kim show. Like it's not. You know, I don't. I don't. By know. far, this is the <clears throat> biggest show that I have worked on. Like without a doubt, and I recognize that and respect that fully. Is that guy gone? No, he's still there. Sorry, I couldn't hear over your pouty, bitchy, fat face. <laughs> okay, well, there you, <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, you're loaded up. Yes. Hello. Flaming Gus. First year with the best of, the number one gripe was failed on was the length of it. He didn't at some point tell Coleman it was suicidal to have so long. 100% on him. 100% on, on, on Gus. He's oh. got to tell Coleman, the minute fan, I got to tell you, was the best of that was seven hours. They now, when you're, on your, I got you, buddy. Uh, so, uh, uh, all right, thank you. On in my mind, what do you guys think? Is that uh, is that Coleman's fault that he didn't know that Gus didn't listen to all the segments? I mean, is there some point where a human yes. being has to assume that somebody's doing something, or with Gus, you just can't assume anything? I just, I don't, I don't think you can assume anything. Right, can't I, assume think anything. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Kirk. Billboard Shark Guy. Hello, Billboard Shark Guy. How are you? Uh, what a mess. Um, as, <laughs> as horrific as Gus handled this, and, and he couldn't have handled it any worse, mm -hmm. this has got to be on my guy Coleman, and I'm sorry to say that. He, I, a question for Coleman is, yeah. when did you know you were going to Florida? Um, I had mentioned it a while back. Uh, I don't know exactly when, uh, maybe like start of the month. I kind of knew. Yeah, I mean, Coleman, you, you got to finish this work and have it put to bed before you hop on a plane. Yeah, that's ultimately, first, ultimately, that's uh, first thing. yeah, that's kind of the key. Is this thing should have been this thing should have been locked. Yeah, like early December. If there's something happened great in December. You can always put it in. Yeah, I don't think that's difficult. Yeah, I I think the release timing is. If not the biggest fuck up here, no, it's not. No, 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 no. The biggest fuck up was it wasn't done. That's the biggest fuck up. It should yes, have been done. I, 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 the release timing to me is is bad, but the fact that you guys were doing it, well, am I wrong or no? That that like bled into it for me. Like because I thought I had this later release time, I thought I would have some time in the downtime to be able to put this together. So realistically, if there was an earlier release time, I believe we would have had it done 
for that release time. So that's why I'm saying that's a big fuck up on my end because it bled together. It should have been done December 1st. Or, uh, yeah, I actually don't doubt that with those guys. Like if they said this should be done December 1st, I think they would have got it done. For some reason, they didn't put that deadline on themselves. Yeah, it was stupid. Yeah. And Very one stupid. of the things, like to the previous caller said, one of the first things I did, and I texted Coleman this, is that like we, as you said, we got to start working on the best of now. And just so that way, basically each after each week, you guys will have nothing to do with the best of next year. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Well, Dude, I'm serious. Don't spend any time on that. That's okay. not going to be your I will outsource that or do somebody else will do it. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to have you guys do that again. Hello. That's uh, all I had to say. Yep. Oh, did you see it before? Shark guy. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Oh, Gus. Sad day for Gus. And I, I don't think. I mean, I think Gus needs to be fired, but I also, I mean, I think, I think they both need to be fired. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I mean, if Coleman's in charge and he needs to be fired, but Gus, it's, it's, it's funny. See, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I, I get yeah. one second, buddy. I get where you're coming from on that, but I don't buy that. Then I should be fired. Then Portnoy should be fired. Then like at some point, like, like it takes down the company. What's I'm saying? Like an individual's faults. I'm not even saying Gus should be fired, not be fired, but sometimes somebody who's an underling of somebody should be fired for not working hard. And the person above him should keep his job. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense or no? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, uh, like I blame Coleman more for how it turned out, but Gus clearly like didn't even try. So should Coleman be fired because that Gus didn't try? But where Coleman, are you, Justin? Where are you on that? But I don't think Coleman's efforts here were some elite performance. I don't either. Him. But yeah. Gus literally yeah. said like, like I didn't listen to the whole segment. Right. And then just drop gave the audience forty minute segments of nothing because he didn't listen to it. I think the cover up is worse than the crime. It always is. Oh, I don't know. I, I think Gus's admission there was bad. Uh, yeah, that's when yeah. I. But oh, I that's think, part of the cover up. You're saying like when he came, he's like, oh, I ha I gave all the clips, but I think it doesn't show that the clo the clips right. were clipped when they said it was. We know you think we know you feel that way. You made that clear. Yeah. Congratulations, Dave Portnoy. By the way. Oh, yeah, a million well, dollars. I'm very happy for him. That's a crazy move, even by a rich man's standards. <sighs> crazy. I was telling Harry last night, because we bet a dollar on it, because he bet a million. I was like, if I bet if I bet $100 in the game, I wouldn't be nervous. But if I bet $1,000 in that game, I'd be shitting myself. Of course. And like, like, you know, th that's probably like a million for what's Dave his or net, What's his net worth? Who even knows? I don't know. But, I mean, I, that's crazy. I was wondering, like, if the spread had been, like, whatever, three points, Michigan. And they won by one. How what would his emotion be? Mm -hmm. That's tough. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is he going to bet? If he has any balls, he'll go double or nothing in the title game. But we'll see. Got to do it. Yeah, I don't know what the, the Michigan must be favored by what three or four points? I would think. Probably made a little more. I don't know. Yeah. Washington's going to win that game. Hello. Uh, this is definitely on Coleman, but I mean, the thing is, there's just no obsession. I don't see obsession from Gus. I don't see obsession from Coleman. It's a, it speaks to a bigger issue. I mean, we all know Dave just clearly misses the show. He's a loser. But right. obsession is the bigger key. I, I just don't see it out of either of them. You know, Gus, you should be crawling on the floor of the mall every day. You should be having a dog collar on yeah, every Gus, for day. guys obsessed with Coleman, the show, uh, for guys obsessed with the show, I think Dave said this earlier. I said this during the producer search. I like, was amazed because he's he is the t he is the minifan. He's the peak minifan who would go in the DMs and bitch about people who are part of the show and the job right. that they're and doing. Right, and now you're not working hard. And he gets the opportunity and he should rise to the occasion. Hard, right? I, I, I am. But what are you doing? Like, I don't, how are you working hard? What are you doing? Uh, I'm, if you say you're cutting clips, I, I'm going to throw you out of the window. I'm serious. Nope, I'm okay. looking for stories. Okay, that's I'm, not... I'm that's, reaching, I've... You all right, Justin? It's just... I'm, I've been talking to set up dates to get, to film some content for stuff. Like what? Uh, the thing with Gig. We have what thing with gig? The thing he gig DM'd you about? Is that on the? Is that like on the Minifan <laughs> network? Is it going to be on the? Min I I he well because gig, gig said what, it came from no 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 because this, gig this, said it came from you. This is what I mean though. This is what but, I mean though. But like that's a YouTube video thing. Yeah. That's how does it help the show? Yeah, you gotta you gotta find that space of where it's the show first and not about getting Tim and Ken your friends clip in the best of. Yeah, well, like, that, you gotta like, find what that. What does that? What does that have to do with the show? It was something that was approached to me about a content idea that That's could fine. be fine. I have no problem. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 it, but it could get somewhere to make fun of a video on the show. I. It was one thing for about. Okay, it. That's not, but that's I'm, not. But that's not work. Am I wrong? That's no, not work. Um, that's a 
that's a message with gig about a date you can go do that i'm reaching that's, out that's 30 seconds i'm reaching out to presidential candidates just for any potential interviews of that like i'm i've been talking with robert f kennedy's team um to try to get them to come in i don't care if he comes in or not I, it's I'm think I'm trying to get guests. I'm conti- uh, continuously like reaching out for things. I reached out to that woman that was um, talking with Mike. Uh, what was it? Lauren Cooper is her name. Compton. Compton. Good. It seems like you're paying real attention. It's it. Lauren Compton. Um. So I, that's I, two days ago. Like, like but, that's, uh, but, but I'm, I, these are things that I'm doing every. Maybe it's just day. maybe. I mean, this is clearly like my fault. Like he can't do these things. Like I'm getting mad at him. Like. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be. You but do know, though, that there is a significant amount of time that needs to be spent on finding content for the show. Like okay, that, if that, I that you, isn't if always I, visible. If I, if I said to you, what are you doing? You said that I'm reaching out to Gig about a video. No, that's you would. I mean, yeah. I have no problem with that. I like Gig. I, go nuts. That's going to be great. But I'm saying that that's it's not, that's, that's like on the Minifan. That's not like, that's not, that's not the show. Yeah. But to be fair, shouldn't the same question be asked to Coleman? Yes, sure. Yeah, yeah. good. I am consistently trying to find topics and audio that we can play on the show sometimes it's not great i understand that but on the day-to-day i'm trying to improve and keep but also like i'll reach out to him about like maine and stuff like he's doing stuff there's also like a he's lot of doing them. things I don't, I don't know what gus is doing like i know what he's doing i don't know what gus is doing yeah but gus is doing those things too like he's looking for content every day and looking for audio to, to play on the show i guess i guess i don't know i don't know yeah but i'm never surprised you guys never come up with great ideas either you know what I mean? But to be fair, like no one really has. That's yeah, true. I don't know about that. Justin. That's true. That's a good point. What do you mean? I haven't? <laughs> no, you have, but like Dave never. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? Like I have. Uh, I, I don't know. Did. How about the watch party for the dozen what about that you driving stole the, the next day? What about driving the, to, to Delaware for the subway thing? Just a stupid fucking. We're doing a fucking show there. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, but I didn't. No, it's stupid. That was not when I worked for the show. Stupid works, though. Stupid is fine. Stupid That's is right. encouraged if it's good. Stupid is fine. All right, hello. I, I don't know. Hey, man, it's Dylan in California. Hey, Dylan, what's up? Not in a good mood today. In fact, I'm feeling a little hostile. Yeah, yeah. They jumped my boy Steve out in the streets, <laughs> I know, man. man. I know, I know. I don't know what to say about that video. I was it's... there. I would have creamed those nerds, man. Yeah, I know you were the D. I, I when I when I saw that video, I didn't. It was not what I expected. When I saw it. Yeah, I you have a lot of questions about that, right? Yeah, I got attacked by a biker gang, and the second person was like a four foot tall woman who was. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, if I were him, I'd be kind of freaked out too. So yeah, but it also the the video thought, starts and he's the first one. Like he's. Well, he went aggressive. after them, but I thought there was like a Sharknado scene or something. Like yeah. they were filming something initially. Yeah. It felt like a movie scene for sure. Yeah, it and felt you know I didn't, I didn't quite understand what was going on there. I don't know. I don't know. Hello. Hey, I don't even uh, think it's close. I think Kirk's just going easy on Coleman because he doesn't want to turn on him because once he does, he knows there's no going back. This is a 1,000% Coleman's fault. And you can say a lot, but you can't – I think it goes uh, – uh, Carl alluded to it to a minute ago. Mm-hmm. Last week, uh, somebody made a joke about Coleman going to the KFC podcast, and he was like, um, man, you know, he couldn't even – like, I don't think he understands the opportunity he has here. Like, he could go there and fade in the background and just be a nothing producer. Like, you have the producers on air talking. They become famous. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a huge career. Well, I'm saying, well, well, uh, I, don't, I don't, I don't, but, like, I, I think I'm more bothered by Gus's lack of work ethic than Coleman's inability to manage. I feel like he'll learn that. Or he won't. Gus, I feel like w- there's no chance. I think that's, I, I get what you're saying, but that's kind of my take on it. Well, I'm not, I, I'll say, I, who knows how much work Gus did. If, you're, if you have to go back and he did, listen to he, he, years he, he, worth he of did, shows. He did, he, did, he did not do it. He, he did you listen to the whole show today? He, there were, he didn't listen to the segments on the best of. <laughs> no, I know. He, I'm going <laughs> to fire him, too. I, I'm just okay, saying, okay. Right, I, okay. you know, you can say a lot of things, but I think Gus really cares about the show. I don't know if Coleman does. I don't. You know, I actually don't agree with that. Like, I, I, I people think I, I'm defending Coleman. I don't think that's true. I think Gus really cares about the show, but he's like very misguided about. Yeah. How Do you think he, Coleman doesn't care? 
No, I think he cares. I actually think that was not the KFC question came off really bad. I think he recognizes that at this point. It came, his answer to that. However, I don't think that's what he meant. This show is very, very fucking unique. Right? Yeah. There's no other show like it. And at the end of the day, like if I had a new podcast, it wouldn't be like this. Right. You? Like if I went to go work for a podcast, it's oh, going to be some dialed down pussy type right. of thing. Sure. And, you know, that just is what like it is. Like your mutt podcast. I brought gifts for Mutt. I'd like Mutt to reach gifts out for to Mutt? me. <laughs> yeah, the uh, a while back. He'll be here Thursday. Well, you can give it to him. Uh, a I'm while back. Give him anything, but yeah, when, uh, when he wouldn't give me the mashed potato recipe, I was going to bribe him. Mm -hmm. um, and then I bought it and then he sent me it. So I have on a DVD here. I have the season three and season four of Mad Men. Oh, great. Oh, wow. That's very nice. That's a really wow. nice gift. Yeah. That's nice. I'm sure he's, he probably has a DVD player, I would think. I hope so. Who doesn't at these? Yeah. That's Where'd you get that? FYE. You still got those? Bargain price? Uh, I mean, I spent less than 10 bucks on both of them. So. Oh, nice. Total? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Wow. I might take those. I don't have a DVD player, though. God damn you it. want one? I'll get you one. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> I'm, fine. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Hello. Coleman, so the, the whole reason why you had that December 30th yeah, date see? picked out was because of your vacation, right? Um, partly because what, what, I, I'll give you plenty of time, buddy. One second. See, I told you that they're going to go more toward Coleman, which I think is fine. He deserves it too. But I, I could, Gus is almost like, like a sympathetic figure because he's so dumb. I think. Yes. To yeah. me, I, my thing is like it's inexcusable his answer, but I think people because I'm beating him up, they're going to go after Coleman more. I think. Which is but, fine. But I, he knows. But Coleman knows that Gus is this way. Like Coleman knows Gus does stupid totally. shit like that. He works with him totally. Oh, day. completely. Yeah. I agree yeah. with that. Go ahead, caller. I'm sorry. Yeah, so, so Coleman, the December 30th date, like that was only because of your vacation, right? It was partly because I wanted some of the vacation time to be able to work on this and finish putting it together. Like that was the thinking there. Did, did you ever consider like, was it the KFC, the best of KFC episode that came out that then you said, okay, this is probably too late? Like, No, like honestly, it was, it, was, was? it was when people on Twitter started like freaking out that they didn't have anything to listen to during work. And I instantly kind of understood like, Oh shit, that's a dumb idea. Like obviously fans would want to listen to something during the work week. Like that was my thinking with it. And then I tried to press it along faster and everything started to spiral from there. All right, cool. We're good. Is that how it played out? I just can't remember. With that call, I mean, what's that? I just saw you comment about the best of first, like the timing of the best of. Yeah, I don't remember. Like I said, I assumed it would be four or five hours tops. I did not think it would be 15 hours. That's, I guess, on me. Like I said, I mean, if you want, guys want to call and blame me for hiring them. That's, we can do that. Like I said, we can do that forever. Like somebody, you know, whatever you want. And right, to your point, if it got released Thursday or Friday, four or five hours, isn't that daunting? No. Well, it's, it's a lot, fair. but it's doable yeah, right. over five days, an right. hour a day or whatever. Hello. Hey, Kirk. Hey, guys. Uh, I think there's been some good accountability so far from Coleman and Gus. I think the one thing we haven't heard, though, is, you know, we've heard a lot of, you know, it's my bad, should have done this, but there hasn't really been an apology to Kirk. Or I, 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 don't, I don't believe I don't in that. I think it's bullshit, so I don't want it. I actually don't want it. That would annoy me, but go ahead. All right, yep. Uh, and the next thing, I know Dave and Justin have been dancing around it, so if, mm -hmm. for, I'll exclude you, Kirk, from this. Oh, thank you. So if one head has to roll from this, um, for those four, who's going to be Coleman or Gus? Of those four, Dave. If I had to pick one of the four, <laughs> <laughs> I've done that. Oh, like I, I've added value. No, to yeah, that. Of those four <laughs> Go ahead, Dave and Justin. So if, if you if you had to, if it meant Justin, if it meant that uh, George Lucas would die, if one of these two oh. had to be fired, who would it be? Uh, I, I would go Gus. Okay, Dave. I would go. G yeah, oh, yeah, it. go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I just think it's because the cover up. Because I think, I just think it's just the same thing happened two weeks ago and it happened. We just the, the lying is just constant. I think once he gets that under control, it's something that can be, but there's no. That's not going to happen. Of, That's not going to happen. Yeah, I don't know. It's not going to happen. Dave. Walking in, I would have said Coleman. Uh, your mind has been changed. And then it changed when Gus just had that horrific moment. With the audio. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Which I should, agree. Which should make next year's best of whoever works on it. That's true. Yeah. That's true. All right. Hello. Hey, Kirk, what's up? What's up? Hey, it's Dina Rajwa. Hey, Dina, how are you? 
Is, is this a is this Gus Coleman criticism calls only? Because oh. if it is, I'll, I'll hang up. I don't want to interrupt it. Well, what, what were you going to say? Go ahead quickly. Uh, not too important, but are you okay with Jerry stealing your uh, logo and your font and all that crap on his logo for his podcast? Uh, he's dying. It? Who cares? Yeah, he's got like three. Did he change left. it? I, I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Is he back on the air? Not a question for. Is he back on or no? I don't think so. Oh really? Jesus! I don't want to see it. Jerry Cowan show. Let me see here. I mean, I, I, I don't really know. I sure was not tweeted since December sixteenth. So. Hello. Is it just done, Dave? Is he just done? I don't know. He says he's coming back, but. Hello. Hey, Kirk. What's up? Hey, so my thing is, I'm sort of with calling in on this, and I hate saying that because I'm probably one of the lowest calling in guys there ever was in existence. I think calling in stock has flown through the roof these last three months. <laughs> uh, my thing is, going into this, it has to be, had to have been Coleman's uh, blame to take. Mm-hmm. But every time Gus opens his mouth, mm-hmm. every single time he opens his mouth, I have to slap myself in the head and say, you just, you just put the target on your back. He doesn't right. know how to talk his way out of anything. He doesn't right. know how to pass the blame on anybody, which is alarming because the door was open to just throw Coleman right under the bus. Well, like, it should be in a way should be ad- admired, I guess. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's taking the heat. Um, so not being able to talk was one of the reasons why you probably hired him. Definitely. So. Yeah, I mean, you hire idiots and they do dumb things. It's kind of like the Mincy thing. Like, you mm-hmm. put, but I mean, this is to me, it's just work ethic. Uh, and I didn't. That's the one thing I, I knew. Gus was a moron, right? Like I knew all that. I did. I thought he was a hardworking, like to the well, I call it, he was crawling around this. He was doing that. He was tweaks. So that guy is gone. He got the job and he got like fat and happy. And I did not. I didn't anticipate that. That's maybe on me. I guess I don't know. I don't know. Hello. Hey, Kirk. Yes. Hello. Hi. Can you, um, I can hear you. So <laughs> when you started the hiring process, you had said, yes, it's funny when things screw up, but eventually things have to work out well. Right. Or something along those lines. Mm-hmm. So Dave, for 90% of it, worked mm-hmm. as hard as he could. Mm-hmm. And when you didn't like his stories, uh-huh. it would turn into – you know, oh, you wouldn't believe what I said to the CVS guy right. or, you know, the person in front of me at Dunkin' Donuts. I like this. Tipped, and call it made me call. look like an asshole. Right. More, more call name hate. So, <laughs> yeah, right. No, 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 no. Yeah. Dave was hardworking enough where if it wasn't working out well, he could do something else to make it funny. Mm-hmm. Gus I'm can't really do that. Yeah, that and look. I think that we always thought that during the hiring process, kind of like what you just said, you thought that there was more to gut. Yeah, you're kind of echoing right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're kind of echoing right, right, this. right, right, right. No, I think that's right. And that's not me. Like, But again, it's a quick process. No excuses, but um, but yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. And by the way, Coleman is like, yeah. you know, Coleman's e- at least equally guilty, more guilty than in this whole thing because he let it happen. He, over, this could have been stopped immediately. So, you know, I, I, I got to figure out going forward how this is going to work, but yeah. And also, like, to the point of Gus not listening to the segments. Um, Coleman didn't listen to the segments because there was the, like, I think in part three, there was one where they're like, um, yeah. There's, like, there was, like, a big, like, it was, like, 20 seconds of just nothing yeah. said. Are you talking about the segments on yes. the actual best of? Uh, no, like, the... In, there was a point like, where Coleman was, like, in introducing the segment, mm-hmm. and then he Love had, it. like, a mind blank or yeah. whatever. There was 20... He stopped, 20 seconds of silence, and he came back in to introduce... It's still it on there? Yeah, yes. it was weird. Jesus Christ. Can I go pee? Can I go pee? What's that? Can I go pee? Hey, Hello. Pee. Hello. Kirk. Mm-hmm. Uh, what if I said no to him? Down this entire time. Time. Be great. Oh, he's a grown man. What if I said no to him? Pee pee time? <laughs> Can I go pee? <laughs> yeah, yes, go ahead. I, want to say, I should have said no. You should do this. Coleman's yeah. entire excuse for being extremely boring is he doesn't know the show. He didn't do a single little extra month. He's not even using Gus. I mean, the show has taken a huge downturn uh, since calling in. Mm-hmm. 
Will he ever learn the show? Is he ever going to be not so boring? Are we talking about Gus? I mean, Coleman, I'm sorry? Coleman. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, I, Coleman, you can answer if you want. I don't think I'm necessarily boring. I just think that there's, you know, it, it's a long process to it all. Nobody was, people were not complaining about these two, two weeks ago. Like, everyone was happy. The show was rolling. Like, not about this. What not do you about, mean? Well, p- two weeks ago, people were complaining about Gus not listening to sound. Well, you know what I'm saying? Overall, it was like, this is an excuse for people to come back and see the show. As always, if something bad happens, the show is better. Oh, Steve yeah, was there. Yeah, yeah. Dave was there. Steve. I wish Dave was back. I wish Steve was here. I wish Justin was here. And then, like, you know, yeah, it's just the old thing. We bring him back, and then something would happen. They'd say, this guy sucks. And, you know, so, I, you know, I don't know. People will... Uh, this same guy, I guarantee you, in six months will be like, I remember the days of when, you know, Gus fucked up the best right, of. Right, right, right. And it was great. It was a great, uncomfortable two hours yes. or whatever, which I understand. I, the, the, people should be allowed to go to town today. This is your day. So we're going to take, take some more calls. Hello. Hello. Hey, so I have a... Hello. I have a question for um, Dave and Justin. I, I really liked how you guys were... Uh, questioning the communication between Gus and Coleman. And it got me wondering, was this level of um, thinking and communication going on between you two when the 29K catering debacle happened? And if Coleman takes the blame for this, wouldn't Dave take the blame for 29K? I think he did, right? Uh, Dave's on a pee break right now. but <laughs> I, I can hear him, though. It's been a while. Uh, here he comes. Here he is. Come on, Dave. Come sit back. There's now. a call for you, Dave. One second, buddy. Dave was making his way back. I was just saying, Dave, out of curiosity, oh. as a grown man, what would you have done if I said, no, you can't go pee? I was gone. Okay, why'd you ask him? <laughs> you feel bad leaving a show. I just okay. had a lot of coffee. You should have just said, I'm going to go pee. I almost just broke a record, too. I stopped. I could have kept going, but I felt like it was too long, and everybody would be So, like, pee left? Oh, that's... I stopped, like, I would say... I'm going to call prob- bullshit on this. Yeah. Nope. You don't what? Stop Nobody mid- you does that. You don't stop midstream. Go the, if, if you if you piss for another I five seconds... I swear to seconds. God, I purposely stopped. If it can't pee, it's because I'm nervous, and there's, like... All right, I go swear. ahead. Yeah, 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 some Davey <laughs> bits. Go. What's the question? What's the question, caller? The, uh, I'm sorry. The, you the, think the you can't oh. fucking stop and pee and then no, start then peeing again? No, you can't. They hurt. They can pee worse. I'm telling you, so I did it. I know you you're dead. Dead. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Ask, ask, you guys. ask him again. So dumb. Ask him again. I got it. That's so dumb. The question's for you. Shut up. The question's for you. Go ahead. So, Dave, I liked your questions regarding um, the producer collaboration between Gus and Coleman, and it got me wondering, where was this level of applied thinking and communication between you and Justin for the 29K catering debacle? Because if Coleman takes the blame for the uh, end of the year wouldn't you take the blame i constantly tried to say team days? effort i'm the one who said confirm back to him i think justin actually i was hired and justin was already planning that where you know i believe, I believe so. something like that was happening like it, it i came into while that was already it might have even been the thing where the caterers were already booked by the time i started my job but i start I, when i started working here sorry but i i agree we fucked up that anyway so it's still a team thing Girl, I don't, for that. what'd you say you didn't do quality control for the catering? Do quality control. Well, we started talking to the caterers immediately about the, the food. We didn't have, I forgot the deal that you put together. I mean, this is now going back two and a half years. I don't remember the exact scenario, but we, we definitely talked to them about like food options and shit mm-hmm. like that. I think Justin had it all figured out before I got here is my point. But and sure, I mean, no, I took Dave blame. It's not like I didn't Dave take heat for that. Blame for that. I see. He fell on the sword for that. That, that's, I mean, yeah, I will say that. There was no, yeah. All right, hello. But the equivalent, the equivalent of that would be like, I'm trying to think of like the audio thing with the 29,000. The audio thing's tough because it just felt like they just did not care. Right. And that to me was always something like, I think you can forgive, you used to say, like, you're going to forgive t- technical shit. You're going to forgive X, Y, and Z. But if you just show that you don't care about something, that you're going to think about that more so than anything else going forward. Hello. Hey, Kirk, how are you? How's, how's it going, guys? It's amazing. It's Thanks. Max, Daddy. You are, Kirk, I, I feel bad for you because you're in a tough spot because I don't think that One second. Can... One second. People Cut say, one hold, oh, I'll give you plenty of time, buddy. People say I'm not afraid to make tough decisions. I fired somebody today. Josh, the intern. That's right. Oh, so that's don't forget. Right. Yeah, don't forget. Yeah, yeah. Nice kid, too. Uh, took, Hell of a run, Josh. Took care, of the, uh, <laughs> took care of the big problem with the 2023 best of. He still gets college credit. He'll be back in. He can come back in if he wants. All right, go ahead. Yeah, what is it, bud? I don't think that 
just one of those guys needs to fall on the sword. I think if you're going to make a move, I think they both have to do it because personally, I don't think they get along. There was absolutely no communication between Coleman's clips and Gus's clips. I would love a foyer. I'd love to I see the, you, the communication between the two, Dave, during <laughs> Yeah, it. you got to do it. Like, I don't know. Like, what's like and, a... And, and, all right, and thank I don't you, buddy. I think there is any. That's not blind. Wouldn't shock me if there's a very strange working dynamic between those two because the age difference and yet he's his boss. Right. So it's... I can see Gus. And Gus is a little bit of a know-it-all. Like, when he would be back there, I know this with technology. Oh, really? I know that. I, yeah. yeah. And he does know his shit, so don't get me wrong. But... Okay. I think they both realize that there's kind of a symbiotic relationship between them. So I think they kind of went in there like we can't completely throw each other under the bus because what happens to one happens to the other. Yeah, I will say this. I can't I, – if I fire one, I got to fire both. I happen to agree with that today. I would agree with that. Hello. Hello, Chris. Yeah, I just had a question on um, – when you said that you would – you were going to – Burn down um, Jesse Lowe's house. Um, mm -hmm. yep. You said you were going to put a call in. Yep. Who was going to be that guy that you call? I can't. It's a good guy to have. I, I can't give. I can't give that name up. That's he's a good guy. He's a closer. Rhymes with Tustin. Hmm. So it rhymes with Tustin. Wasn't you? No. Oh. No. I go. I go. The guys who are loyal only to the show. He's, I don't go the uh, yak guys. <laughs> I'll burn down a house for you. No, that's fine. No, okay. you're, you're a yak guy. It's like you're a dance guy. Hello. Has there been an update on that? Nope. No, but you had like a job interview, didn't you? Didn't it? Uh, text yeah. me about that. Yeah, you calls with Hank and, and Dan, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think it went well. That's what they said. <clears throat> Hope so. Hello. Hey, Kirk, can you hear me? I can hear you. Um, I think maybe you're coming to the realization here, and I think a lot of listeners are too, that you're asking where the outrage is and you're wondering – you know, you want people to go off on these guys, but when Gus is solely an idiot and not a hardworking idiot that also provides other things to the show, you're going to get a ton of listener fatigue and just not have well, people as inspired. Uh, I mean, as if you saw, uh, like, if, uh, are you on Twitter or nobody? I was paying attention to the Twitter. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, that, that argument, I, I get where you're coming from. That, that argument doesn't hold water because Twitter was wild for, like, three days, like, as busy as it's ever been. Okay, do you not see that happening? I mean, it's only been three months. Do you not see that happening over the no. next two months? Oh, I don't know. I, that, I, that, I don't know that, but I will say I haven't seen it happen yet. Uh, but you're right. Like, at some point, okay. at some point, if this keeps happening, uh, then people are going to be like, all right, like, what are you getting mad about? You're getting, now, now you what are we doing here? Correct. I, and, and I think we're there. Like, yeah. I think this is one of those moments where, particularly with Gus, particularly after the Menor's Jeff D. Lowe, thanks for the call, after the Menor's Jeff D. Lowe thing, we didn't listen to a, an entire two minute or watch an entire two minute segment. I thought we were good. And now he's telling me for the best of it. He said he was going to be in charge of himself. He wanted to take control of that. That he picked the clips for it and didn't listen to those clips is the craziest thing I've ever heard a producer tell me in the four years plus of the show. And I've heard dumb excuses and lies and people covering their ass from Steve Robinson to Dave Conan to Coleman to Justin to all these guys, uh, either dumb or, or disingenuous. And this is the topper to me. This is the one where I'm like, holy shit, there is no work ethic. And that's, I don't get too, but that's like a fuck you to the, to the people listening. I mean, that actually is a fuck you to the audience. Like I don't, you know, that, 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 that's just the fuck you to the audience. If nothing happened, like let's just say the, the best of goes off without a hitch Smooth, and yeah. nobody talks about it, would you have assumed based off the words said on this program that Gus was responsible for all of it based on his words? I would have. I would have. Yeah, probably because he was. He said, this is my thing. Right. So where? So now, Gus, let me just ask you, do, did you think going into it that was going to be your responsibility fully? What, the entire thing? Yep. No, going into it, I knew... Okay. Going into it, my assumption was pre-producer search, me. Because I listened, I was a fan of the show. But you understand the conflict of yes. it. If, we, if everybody in the room says that we thought you were going to be entirely... Yes. the per yeah, Okay. I, I, I understand that. Okay. Hello. Great question, Dave. Hello. Wine Mike says the incident with him and Clemmer was in the summer of 2022. <laughs> oh, is that true? <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he texted me. That's good. Hello. 
Yeah, I'm re- mm-hmm. retweeting Mike and Lauren. Oh. I'm trying to get Mike on that dumb show. I retweet like six times. <laughs> Jesus, I don't even know what it is. Who is this person? I have no idea. She does, like, she does like comedian? blind dates with um, famous celebrities and like oh, it's God. an interview thing. Oh, like I want that. Mike to be on that then. That's great. <laughs> Hello. Yes. So, uh, you know, I think that this is where Coleman's age and experience really come into hurt him. I agree with that. He doesn't have the ability to or really know how to be the leader or the number one. Mm-hmm. And so it seems to me that he, he didn't oversee or give direction appropriately enough to Gus. I think that's the first issue with that. I think there's something However, to that. Yeah. I think what supersedes it, you know, and I think that it is what he is. He wanted a young guy who would come in and, and essentially work hard. You thought mm-hmm. for things like that, but he doesn't, he doesn't feel comfortable doing that yet. And that comes with experience. And hopefully this will be part of that. However, I think what supersedes that is Gus. <laughs> His just inability to bring anything to the table, unfortunately. And I don't want anybody ever to lose their job, but between the lying, the lack of content, the weed, which I'm sure goes up your ass. No question. You well, I, well, well I see I'm stuff sure like, like Gus was clearly, I saw people tweet, he was clearly playing video games like in the middle of the night during all this too. Like that oh, was happening, right? Yeah, it, well, yeah, that was, I, yeah, I see stuff like that. I'm just like, if that, that between 11 o'clock, when you sent for the uh, the Amazon thing, and when it got there the next day, you're playing video games that night, right? Well, that was as the stuff was uploading. Yeah. Yeah. See, to me, I would be like going somewhere, anywhere to find a way to get that done at twelve thirty at night. No. Yes. As opposed to playing a video game, I mean, probably. I, uh, good, good, good. If it's that important to you, like I don't, but it's not. So that's on me, I guess. And right, and if and if the only thing he did was play those video games, he should know that that would absolutely drive you crazy. If that's the only issue that was going on, like that would, but the fact that he was doing that, I, I, I don't want to call it a, a lack of respect for you, but it's just a lack of common sense. You know, so my concern is at what point do these negatives for him impact your ability to put on a good show because of the frustration level. Like, that's what I want. I want a good show, you know, no matter what the pieces are. But if that impacts you so much, like, I get concerned about that part. And it also brings, unfortunately, like a, a larger issue is, and I don't know how you knew to trust um, Colony in Portland the first time. We won't oh, even no. talk about it. We won't even talk about the case. But, like, trust them. but how, how can they be trusted for? They're not. They're, they're not. They're, 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 they are not. I, I'm going to try. To answer your question, they produce this show now. That's it. So, as of now, like, that, I don't trust them to do anything. I just don't. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I mean, I, I get your point. Yeah. I, and I think overall, like, I, I think. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, this sounds yeah. like a best of segment. I'm fucking 40 minutes of this guy. <laughs> he'll, we'll hear him in a year. Hello. I get this point, though. He's not wrong. Justin looks disgusted, so I don't know. Mm. What? Yeah, it's just, just got to tell the truth. That's all. Mm-hmm. Hello. Uh, hey, look. So, Gus, it feels like Gus was brought in as like a protective layer for Coleman, like Coleman's Iron Dome, if you will. Mm hmm. Um, so it feels like you're defending Coleman so much harder. Anytime I'm, you ask Coleman a question to take accountability, you feel that way, Justin? He says, uh, "What's well, on this?" This. I actually don't. I, I, get, I, get, your, I get. I get your point. When I ask Coleman, right? So, so, so you don't like Coleman? I get that you like Gus, whatever, or you don't, whatever. But when I say to Gus something and he gives me an answer like that, and I ask Coleman, and Coleman's like, "It's my fuck up. It's my responsibility. I made the mistake. It's all on me. I'll do better next time." Like, what am I supposed to do when those guys give those two answers? Well, so it's tough because Gus, the whole time Coleman isn't saying, oh, I fucked up, it's all on me. He says, well, it's all on me, but if Gus had done this, then it wouldn't have been on me. Right. It's like Coleman's in, on vacation, in vacation mode. He thinks that Gus has taken care of the whole thing, which may be a fuck up by Gus, but it seems like Gus is just there to be a punching bag for Coleman, and if Coleman was on his own, he'd be getting smoked. All I'm looking for is consistency. Here's the thing. I think if Coleman was on his own, I don't think it would have been that bad. Well, we, we no, don't know. Uh, see, but I right, think that- you might be, and you might, and you, you mean the product? Yeah, or the best of. Yes, yes, I think they because there's only one person to set a deadline to get something done right. for themselves. Right? I kind right. of thought of that a bit too. Where oh, if I was throwing Gus under no, the no, bus, no, 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 this isn't throwing Gus under at all. It was just like if I had this project fully just myself, I think there's ways I would have gone about the organization and execution of it differently. But I, I think that's, you know, something that factors in and again is on me because I made those decisions to. What is your blame pie, Gus, between me as the boss, you and Coleman? Be, uh, don't don't 
do in the way you think is going to make me happy. No. Yeah, what I, do you I, think? It, what's your honest, honest answer to that question? Honest answer, it's 1% you because you hired us. Mm-hmm. I would say 55, 45, me, Coleman. Because I had a larger chunk of it. I had the more months leading into it. That's 101%, by the way, just to be clear. <laughs> be. So, am I wrong or no? That is. 55, 45, he gets, one. He gets 44 then. Okay. I'll, t- <laughs> I'll, I'll knock him down one more. But that's, that's just a moron. Just a fucking moron. But see, that's good, Gus. I, I, I got you, but I'm just yeah. saying it's just it's like, but what, what's the, what do I do? What do I do? Stop drinking that. It's loud. It's annoying. Sorry. What, 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 what am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do? You two tell me you're, you're okay. So we move now. We're good with calls. <laughs> so now we're, we're, it's been two and a half hours of this tribunal. What do you guys tell me? What should I do? I'm not saying I'm going to do it, but now you've had two and a half hours to listen. You've asked quite, you know what? Final questions because I'll, I'll before you, before you decide. Your bladder's full, uh, empty. You're okay. How empty? Twenty five percent is still ready to go. Okay. He's got yeah. okay. piss in the tip of his. Justin, head. <laughs> Justin, go. You can go forever. You, you don't have to pee ever, right? Oh, I mean, if I'm drinking, yeah, yes. Yeah. But, but but you could go twice a day if you're not. You know. Can yeah. you go all day without peeing if you're not drinking? Much? I've been drinking more water recently, so yeah. Yeah, good, good for you. Okay. What do you have any final questions for these two? No, no, I don't believe so. Okay, any no. final statements? I, I, you just don't believe them. I, yeah, I just I just don't believe that if you go back to the beginning of the episode when they said that they had everything clipped out before the vacation and it was mm-hmm. just the main I think I think Gus's main point of it was just the uploading that kind of really dragged them back is not true. Okay. It was just the upload speed of the surface or whatever the computer with the with the charger. I don't believe that's true. And maybe I'm wrong. Mike Geary just texted me, which is very rare. Oof. Our last text was October. Just so you know, the one before that was it's actually more recently. I thought it would have been one before that was July. The one before that was November 2022. <laughs> I'm back Thursday night. I can do Friday. I told them I schedule a month ago so they could plan. Oof, Guys, boy. he is really he's just kicking them all. I like that. That boy, Mike. That says something though. That says something. What's that? I mean, Mike's a major part of this program. They yeah, they don't pick him up. To bring him here. They don't care when he's on, he's on or off. More, hey, I'm more, just that's, saying. That's more about. Just it's saying. Really it'd be nice if you know. Okay. Any foul statements from you, Dave? Other than that, other than to give yourself a pat in the back for driving a blind guy around. <laughs> we had good conversations. Uh, sure. I'm disappointed in both of you guys. What is your recommendation? All yeah. kidding aside, to me, as a as a boss, what do I do? Either one of you. Don't be afraid. Okay. I'm not going to necessarily do it. What would you? What, I, what, I, what would the findings of this committee of two I, be? I think Coleman can take this as a major learning lesson, so I think he can move forward. Like mm-hmm. I think it's a warning or, you know, whatever. I think Gus should get a suspension a la what happened to Steve. I think that should be a like a seven, whatever that was, a week okay. long suspension. I think it was three days for Steve. Yeah. yeah. Okay, give him two weeks. Justin? Uh, I'm going to agree with Dave, Dave on this one. I don't think a suspension. I think a, a suspension with Gus is like, Okay, we. I've said you've said you know this is the last straw many times. This is it. Like this is, right. It like this is serious. I'm willing to take take away you're, you're your talking, job. I'm really not matter if I say that though. But then we know our answer, right? If you suspend him, yeah. No, I'm saying if I say it to him, he's just not gonna. He's just what he is. Oh, definitely. Like he's definitely. gonna fuck up again. Like that's not like we're delaying the inevitable. I think. Like I'm not even gonna do that. Like that's a waste of everyone's time because he's going to fuck up again. But like it's how you fuck up. It's 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 the difference between like you know, here's here's what's going on. He's doing a bunch of drugs. He's playing video games and he's lazy. So like he just puts shit off. He just doesn't he doesn't care. That's the difference between the two of them in my mind. And I know people don't like that because people hate Coleman. I get that. But like that's a, one guy has ambition and is trying hard and works hard and is there. The other guy isn't. And that's you know that's kind of where I land on it. But I, I've said like to me they're both responsible for this. So I'm not going to suspend one, not suspend the other. Like, I don't think that's that makes any sense. They both fucked up. Yeah. I I do have a proposal for Gus going forward because I think that's part of all this is me not giving okay. enough directive. I have said since the beginning of this that I do need help with the Twitter. Like, that is the main area that I have lacked in and I think that we need help with. I think <laughs> it'll... Cash just texted me and said, I perked up for my work when I heard, quote, so on the night of the 27th, you had no charger. End <laughs> quote. <laughs> Uh, go ahead, go ahead, call him. So I think that Gus that? being... He's a misogynist. If he's listening, I'd like him to know that. That's okay, all. there you go. That's great. Good, good for you, Dave. I think Gus, having been a fan, yeah, I expected him to 
kind of get the world a bit more. See, and throw, that's the under the bus stuff. It's right not there. under the bus. I, I no, Justin play. or no? Yeah. yeah this, is, this is this is tough. Even if he didn't just do that, I don't love the play of like what I can. Well, he's his boss though. I know, but I don't know if this is the time. I so don't know if this is the moment right now. You're, you're saying the proposal is just you're going to give Gus full control. No, of no, the no. Twitter? I'm, what is, I'm saying what, the show Twitter. I'm saying I need help with the Twitter. I think he should be more of an active voice through that. Okay. On top of that, we need to be able to have, especially with Josh seemingly gone, I need five to ten clips. I'm saying a specific number, but five to ten clips to be being done. This feels on like a an intern's basis. job to me. You know? Even if it did, even if it wasn't, this is all just like basic organizational shit. That I, like I said, there was no infrastructure back that's there. Fine. That's fine. I'm fine with all that. I'm trying right. to build I, I, that. I don't think that's going to help the larger Gus problem. But then yeah, on, I, could, I could be wrong. On top of that, I think at least one to two original posts, videos per day from Gus that we can play off of from the show. That even if he fucks up in, it becomes something that we can all laugh at or you know comment on. Because I think we need that content portion from Gus, and we don't get it. So I think if we make him do that every single day, there's some accountability there, and I well, think that's fine. I that, think that, we that's benefit all fine, from it. but that's you know that's that's fine. No, you look disgusted by that. Too. Yeah, I don't love what what was just uttered. I don't Why is that? I mean, Gus to me should do what's best for the show, being a part of content. You playing off of Gus is the best thing that's for the show, probably. Yeah, I think forced I, like I, wacky Gus, right? Like all that other stuff, be like, just mocked. I think it's I think. organic, but it's I'm like, just saying. But that you're right. There should be some definition to what he does. Ma- though. Maybe it's not. Or commu- every, maybe I, just I don't the, know commu- how there isn't though. I just think communication just needs to be better. I mean, obviously, this wouldn't have happened if the guy. And I don't. I don't know. There's something. It's off between those guys. I don't know what it is, but mm-hmm. I don't know. Gus, any final statements from you? Coleman just gave his. I don't know what the fuck he was talking about. <laughs> no, um, I'm, I'm taking this very seriously. Like, this is what I want to do. I want to stay here. I want to be part of the show, and I think there is opportunities. Definitely the communication side of things um, can definitely get a lot better between the both of us. So one of the things, like, we, we were even talking about, like, texting back and forth over the weekend, like, leading up into this of, like, things we you think can everybody, do Hold on. Do you think everybody... Listening to the show is waiting for this terrible idea he's going to have or no. Is that why people like this show? Because he's going to say something terrible here? I assume so, yes. Is that the beauty of the show, Justin? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Well, it's not like a, it, just a general idea, but like having like actual sending back and forth correspondences throughout the day. Just You guys don't do that? Like not frequently, frequently. Like, you guys don't communicate during the day? Like we do, but... We do. I just think it needs to be with more intention as opposed to me just being like... What, what, what do you guys ask each other what you're doing? Like, what intention is no. there? What, no, what are you no, talking no. about? Like, like, I'm saying, like, a more direct instruction, I think, needs to be from my end. So what's like, a normal correspondence, then? I don't know. It's like, hey, did you see this topic? Hey, like, yeah, what about this? Like, like if, I'm, if I'm going through something and I bookmark something, I'm like, hey, did you c- catch this thing? Did you see that? Send them a link. Send that them- seems fine to me. No, I don't, how much more direct should it be than that? Yeah, I don't, I don't, but that's I'm not sure I'm, that's the problem. But that's what yeah. I'm saying. If there's a problem with Gus not getting enough direction, then maybe I need to be more intentional with it and be specifically laying out exactly what I need at every, any given moment during the course of the day. And okay. I think that's where it's at now because okay. of all this. Okay. Gus, anything else? No. Okay. Uh, all right. <clears throat> well, anyway. So, um, uh, uh, yeah. All right. So, for the rest of this week, that's what? Three more shows this week? All right? We have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday scheduled? Yeah. Wednesday. Okay. Mike's here Friday. Mutt's here Thursday. I contacted Nick earlier. He's here tomorrow. He'll produce. So, these guys are gone for the rest of the week. I don't want to see them. So, they're suspended for the rest of the week. Um, so, we have Mick Wednesday. I guess he's going to produce. Then Mutt's in Thursday. Can you produce one day or no? Of course. Are you sure? Yeah. Which day's better? Would you rather do Thursday with Mutt or Friday with Mike? Uh, Friday with Mike. You don't want to work with Mutt? Uh, my grandfather's coming back on Thursday. Okay. Is that, can you do Friday? If you can't yeah, do Friday, yeah, you no. sure? Okay. I mean, right. God, if, he, if, he's, if he's dead, I, I probably won't come in. What? I said if he, if he dies, I probably won't come in. Just go to Chicago now. <laughs> what are you talking What's about? He's oh, dead. No, so what? no. Then he's dead. Is he dying? Uh, he's having surgery today. <laughs> Is he going to die? Hope not. What surgery? Uh, it's just like a minor. I think he's getting like a pacemaker put in or something like that. Something small. Let's be optimistic. Let's say you're available. Just yeah. be optimistic. But if he's dead, like the thing won't be Friday. Nothing will be Friday. <laughs> I hope not. No, I'm saying I'll go. I will go to the wake if you go. To, if oh, you, you don't have to. Friday. I'm going to go. Oh, I would be a wreck. I'm just a wreck. I'm going to go. Everyone's going. Uh, and then Kirk walks in. Oh, and I'm we're all gone. Now. You're dead. You're How old is he? Uh, 85. Ooh, it's in play. No, it's not. Where's the surgery? Kirk. Uh, it's right down the street. Why aren't you there today for him? Because I, you asked, because it, but you wouldn't do Friday. You see inconsistent answers, Dave. No, Newton Wellesley is a great hospital. I think no, it would be fine. I've said <laughs> you've, you've, you've done some work there. 
If he dies. If he dies. Yes. If he dies when? Today? Well, in, in the next – if he dies – If he dies today, you could – Friday, Sunday. No, nothing. They'll keep on ice until next week. That's You're coming Friday. You're working Friday. Okay. We might regret this. Uh, so <laughs> my, we need to find a producer for Thursday. I can do Thursday, too. No, you, Thursday you said you can't do. I can do both. You said you couldn't. If you if you need someone. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, I'll figure it out. We have Mick, and then we need a guest. Do you need suggestions? For a guest? Yeah, anything? No. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. M- does Mick have the ability to get in here? I I can help right. him with that. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, all right. So, we'll see you boys on Monday. Um, and that goes like show account. Like, I don't want you guys doing anything. So, it would just stay away from everything until Monday. Um, uh, okay. So, yeah, we have Mick tomorrow. No Al, though. Oh. No Al. He said Al. He said Al. Not getting not back playing to along? No. Damn. And Dave are too. Dave was a he fucking such a pussy. Weird, a fucking weird, weird tweet. I almost popped by and said hi to Dave. I was at his restaurant. So, what? Because I saw his tweet and I was like, nah, nah. Where were you? Are you at Patriot Place? Eve? Yeah, I was at Patriot Place. You was Eve at Patriot Place? What were you doing? Yeah. They did like a little holiday festival thing, so I took my daughter. Oh, okay, okay. You weren't like out. Oh. No, no, no. Fucking insane. Fuck that noise. Uh, okay, so we'll find people. Um, so many of the fans, if you're watching, anybody want to produce? Anybody want to come in? Knock yourselves out. The floor is yours for this week. Uh, boys, thank you. We'll see you Friday then, Justin. Gotcha. Dave, we'll see you soon. Mutt in on Thursday. Buy Mike on Friday. No, Mick tomorrow. Buy Mike Friday. We have you nothing. said Mick tomorrow. Mutt, Mutt Thursday. Thursday. Mike Friday. Producer so Thursday. we have somebody every day at least, whether producer or host. One person. We just got to figure out how to put that together. Friday we have a show, you and Mike. Yes. Tomorrow we have Mick and nobody else. And then Thursday we have Mutt and no producer. We'll figure it out. Or if not, we just won't be able to do the show. Who would be good with Mick? <sighs> it's tough. He stinks. Can't do Steve from Gloucester. No, 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 no. I'm kind of down He's on him. Yeah, He's a yeah. lot. I mean, I'm kind of losing my feelings on him. Because mm. well, he comes in and he's best friends with everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, pick a lane. And you might need two people with Mick. Yeah, yeah, one for sure. Yeah. So, mm. I don't know. Reach out to the show account. I'll be on it. I'll be handling the you're show gonna, account for the next couple it? of days. Yeah. Nice. There'll be no clips, but I'll be handling the show <laughs> account for the next couple of days. But this is what happens when producers fuck up. Like, if there's no show, we have three shows this week, that's their fault. So let them know about it. Uh, boys, thank you. We will talk to you tomorrow morning uh, with Mick and who knows. And then we'll see Justin later on this week. Dave, we'll see you soon. Yep. Go, go listen to the hits. Go uh, Grill on the Hill. Anything else, Justin, you want to promote? Uh, it's my parents' 30th wedding anniversary today. So happy uh, 30th wedding <laughs> You want to promote that? <laughs> Are they doing anything? I might get some sad uh, news this I'm week. sure they're going out. But Where were they? Like, where's their place? 30 years. I know it's 30 years, Justin. So where's their place do they go? Where they're they? like Greg's. Greg's. It's in uh, Rhode Island. Oh, if you see the see the Trudels there, I met them. I met the you, you have yeah. yeah. Buy them a drink or something if they're up tonight. Oh uh, no, so. definitely please don't. Why they're alcoholics? Uh, just please, please, yeah, don't don't say hello to them. Take a photograph <laughs> of them. Just what? say hi. Wait, yeah. what, what's wrong with that? Just uh, yeah, they, they don't drink. Get them a chi- slice of the uh, shut death up, by chocolate cake. Gus, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Shut <laughs> the fuck up. All right, we'll talk to you guys on Monday. All right, tomorrow we'll see those guys Monday. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye.